Hello and welcome to Gamer Talks, the home of gaming and all things gaming related. We love to talk about it and we're all in conjunction with uh, agreeing with the fact that all men do like a bit of that. Ha! Tour. <laughs> right, so we've got in this, <laughs> in this month we've got we got Buster. Hello there. You know what I mean? Spin on that thing. We've yeah. got the cactus man. Hello everybody. Whiskey bandit. Hey, hey, hey. And uh Doug's getting a beer. I don't know who's back. He's getting a beer. Down there. All oh, right. Hey, <laughs> um, I'm getting a beer now, though. <laughs> hey, <laughs> dip out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, quite. But, um, yeah, so this is the July edition, um, is, July yeah. month. So we've got some games uh, to talk about. The games um, mainly kind of around one area. Uh, there's not really gotcha. a amount, not a massive amount coming out this month, to be honest, that gotcha. we've kind of looked at and uh, are interested in looking at. But yeah, um, no, I mean a lot of the yeah. games have been been saved for the the summer showcases, you know, the games coming up within. Mm. Um, so there isn't a lot coming out being announced at the minute, but there's a few bits and pieces. Um, we'll just talk to it as we always do because that's good. For me. Well, right. Well, we'll we'll start off with. Uh, what we've been playing, like, I yeah. suppose, man. Hey, Mikey, why don't what, you Mikey? Get started? Me? What, what? Well, um. Yeah, you. What have you been playing, Mikey? <laughs> uh, so I, I got back into Northgard, which is like an RTS game, but with um, a sort of Viking theme. So you got all your different clans, and they've all got different skills and things. Uh, and you have to fight for dominance, and you know, victory is one way to win dominance, and then you can also win by fame, uh, lore. Like mm. uh, max it out of your skills, so it's it's just all oh, those sort of things, you know. You think Age of Empires is a bit like that, so uh, but mm. with Vikings. Um, and then another big one I've been playing a lot of recently is Starfield. I um, just seen you. I've seen you just start that this week, Mikey. Like, so, yeah, I just uh, started I... it on Wednesday, Tuesday. Um, I wanted to play it since it came out, but I didn't for one reason or another. But I had it downloaded off um, Xbox Game Pass, and I recently got into it, and uh, it's a lot better than it was, or I presume it is. Have they, have they done a lot to it, like, because it was got really bad fucking reviews when it first came out and shit? It's so. still got issues, and there's bits I don't like, but it's been improved, if that makes sense. Right. So I played I think... a bit of Starfield, uh, sort of a bit after release, yeah. and it's kind of... Fun. The it, gameplay it, mechanics are good, but I, I I found that like nothing made any difference. Like like no. it doesn't like it's sort of you get there's this one quest line I, that and I'm not going to give you spoilers, but like <laughs> the 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 end of it, it should be like quite a significant thing and. And just nothing happens. It's like, yeah, this guy does some bad shit and dies, yeah, and yeah. and he was a really important guy, and now there's, there's no fallout. <laughs> no, I mean there is a few. <laughs> I, I, said it. <laughs> I like, I like that. I like what you did there. Uh, but in general, it's it's all right. It's like a seven out of ten. You know, it's solid. I see it's solid, it's not like the best game in the world, but it's it's fine, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, it would have been nice if they made the ship upgrades actually useful, but they're not. And it would have been nice I mean, if I... planets were a bit more populated, but they're not. Yeah, well, my mate said that literally you've got like a few planets that they've like concentrated on, and then the rest of it is literally you just fly. There's like, they're like, oh, you've got it's thousands nothing. of planets. And you land, and it's like a base that you land at, but it's fuck all. And then there's like three things you got to pick up on the planet, and it's that's yeah, it. That's all that's there. Yeah, it's like, like I mean, fuck it's all so else. It's so arbitrary. It's first got advertised to it. Was like there are what like, thousands of planets to explore. And it's like nah, man. There's just well, like they did that. They did, with, they did that I with the first Destiny, though. Gonna... Right? Yeah, I was wondering if it was going to dethrone No Man's Sky, but it really hasn't for me. But that's what I was going to say. Did No Man's Sky have that same problem when it first came out? I uh, had a bunch yeah. of shit, yeah. I had like yeah, a million No one. Man's Sky when it first came out was an absolute train wreck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I suppose they, they had Sony's uh, budget for marketing, right? And Sony seen it was like a new thing and people were hyped for it and just 
just yeah. pushed it and it got out of control and people expect people's yeah. expectations just went well and wild. Sony pushed for it for an earlier release uh, because, I do wonder uh, if a similar thing happened here because it was so pushed as Bethesda's big new thing Xbox exclusive and then it just didn't deliver really well, well yeah but yeah if it I I kind of I'm always under the thinking that if it was pushed early, then they'll fix it and flesh it out as it goes yeah. on. But I, I don't think, think they've so. done really. I don't think they've done that. anything to it really. Have they? They mentioned recently in like a Bethesda news thing um, that Starfield will be getting yearly story campaign um, additions. I think it needs okay. something to be honest. I mean, some of the yeah. <laughs> some of the quests I've done are a bit. Um, they don't me, really I was like, give you much. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, I think there's definitely a market for Starfield, but from what I've seen, it just looked like looked really dull in comparison no. to uh, Skyrim in Fallout. See if they did that same that yearly expansions for Fallout Four, man, I would be, be a happy boy. Yeah. And I, what we just all pretend that seventy six never happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it probably it just make you like isn't that bad. It's like a. It is kind of, yeah, it's pretty bad. You could make it so that, like, 4 never happened either, because that was fucking dog shit as well. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> oh, it, was different. it was different, but it was good. It was good. I preferred 3 on Vegas. Vegas. Vegas, 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 Vegas all that, day. It's the only one I've played. Vegas all day. I, I played 3, Vegas, Vegas and 4, but I never really got into 4. The old I've school ones had a great story in setting too, but... Um, hmm. It's like it's, they're that old that most people will just completely ignore them because even to look at yeah. it, nowadays. I, I've fun. recently just completed Fallout 4 for the first time. Oh, what'd you think of it? Uh, I yeah, it was great. I killed fucking, I killed the dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did what was it? What did you choose for uh, your ending? What did I choose for my ending? Uh, I can't remember who I got to. Just, I think I helped the Minutemen in the end. And yeah. My brother I shot kept, him in the face. <laughs> I, I, got the rail, I, I kept the railroad alive because I was like, well, they're just idiots, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah. They're just bumbling idiots. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel, I think... I think I was kind of sided with them, but I hated them. It was one of those, like... I don't know why I've ended up this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't want to be this way because you're such all such monumental douchebags. Yeah, that it makes the the endings are always good, but they're always kind of tough. I always make like a save when I'm like when I'm when I feel like I'm hitting maybe three quarters of the way through the story. Yeah, I mean, you, and you've got to that make that back. decision. That, that yeah. decision of when you know, you know it's that point where you're making the decision on who you're siding with. So you make a yeah, save so you could do it all. It's a Fallout game, though. So, so at some point, you're <laughs> going to get the decision to drop a nuclear bomb at some point. So, yeah. you're going to want a save file to do that exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, I, def I definitely yeah. destroyed the. Uh, and this actually kind of pissed me off. I was like, I was really annoyed that I had to destroy the um, the institute. Mm. I was like, holy shit, this is insane to destroy. Just kill the crazy cunt that's running it, and then. Everyone, the institute's open. Knock yourselves out. Yeah. It's kind of nice down there. Oh, you need to go for New Vegas next, Dunk. I've played New Vegas. I, it's been a long time. Let's get the end of the TV show. We saw the Vegas Strip. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers yeah, for the TV show, by the yeah. way. <laughs> well, no, not right at bed. You just see uh, uh, a quick look at it and you if you've never played Fallout and just watched T V series, you'd be like, What the <laughs> fuck's that? Yeah. Uh, but every everybody that's played the game it's like Vegas Yeah, Mr. House and the Yes Man robots, right? Like Oh what? yeah. I'm okay. kinda glad they were doing that way. Instead of I haven't scenes. played the series uh, so I haven't watched the series yet. So no uh, the series I, I, I enjoyed the series. I enjoyed it. I thought it was the best, like uh one of the best Video game to TV shows sort of transitions that I've seen. Yeah, Next, yeah, yeah. Uh, the only one that beats it's Last of Us. Last of Us was awesome. Yeah, I'm really good. I've not seen that either. Yeah. I, I enjoyed, oh. I enjoyed yeah, a few of The Witcher. That was good, but then they got rid of uh, what's it? So Henry yeah. Cavill. 
Henry Carver, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he is Geralt, I'm sorry. A guy who's been... actually read the books and played the games yeah. religiously like, and they got rid of him yeah, because yeah. he didn't agree with the fact that they were changing too much for the screen. Yeah, and, now, and, now, ignore, and now I read the other day that they've actually said that the other characters or, or actress, actresses, the blonde lass especially, Siri, she's speaking up because she's saying it, she doesn't understand how it's going to work. The way that they're trying to do it, and it's just sort of like. Uh... Is Henry Cavill? Is Henry Cavill no damn Warhammer TV series? Yeah, man. He wants that because he's literally making it happen himself. <laughs> because he's he's he uh, he has he's massive Warhammer. Yeah, he is he is a whore. Yeah. Whore for it. Yeah. Yeah. He just to get the race right. Man. I mean, race right. I mean, this is like, I mean, this is it. We're talking about a guy who almost missed. A Superman audition because he was gaming on World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> so they left him an answer machine. And they they like, all guys. He was on it. He yeah. was in a raid on World of Warcraft, and he almost <laughs> missed the biggest acting job of his career. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't picture it being anyone else though in those movies. Now, if there's a Leroy Jenkins that we all know, we all know who it is. Hey, Pookie. <laughs> yeah, it's not me, mate. I'm very calm and collected in any shooting game. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's do the stealthily put. Ah! <laughs> either goes one way or the other. Either makes a fucking amazing play and it's brilliant, or he destroys everything in Kills everyone. <laughs> yeah, they've yeah. worked for the last twenty minutes a day. Aye. Yeah, that's like my that's like my my tackling on FIFA as well. Like, I mean, the red card or it's a perfect tackle. Yeah. Aye, but the red card <laughs> comes on my on my stats. Yeah, it does. That's why I do it. <laughs> so you um, what have you been playing, in, Andy? I've been playing um, I've been streaming a bit of Bloodstained. Oh called. yeah, that looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. that's... Bloodstained. That's wrong. <laughs> You'd like it. It's an uh, anime booby game, but it's oh, uh, yeah. really and it's fucking it's really good. And it's got David Hater, the voice of Solid Snake in it. He plays like this uh, guy who hates demons, and you're like a half demon wifey, so he fights you near the start. And I was like, that's fucking Solid Snake. <laughs> um, you can just tell straight away, right? And it was like, I had to wait and finish the fight and Google it, and it was. It's David Hater. I was like, fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> there's loads of cool bits in it. This game, it's like think of like Metroid, but kind of uh, Castlevania anime style, but a bit, a bit more yeah. campy and a bit more fun and silly. Yeah, Left like to right, or is it? Yeah, side scrolling. Yeah, I watched him play. It, it, you're going to go back and forth a lot in it. It's kind of labyrinthian, kind of you know Metroidvania style. You're going to have to come back this way again once you've got yeah. this item, and you know you have to. The yeah. attention to where you're going like, like, and skills and shit, yeah. yeah. And I love those kind of things because I don't know, I I'm quite sure we're just beating my head off for those kind of games until I finish them, <laughs> even though they can be incredibly difficult. But um You might really want enjoying to, it. You might want to change how you say that, beating your head off to uh, <laughs> <laughs> beating my head off a good anime booba game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might want to, our listeners might get that confused. He means getting frustrated with the game. No, we don't care about that. <laughs> it sounds like it's got some epic 80s tunes in it. The sound of music in it. The well. music is amazing. The art direction is amazing. Um, it looks it's got, great. It's, it's really good. And it was on, I think it's maybe on sale still. Um, yeah, it's, it's £8.74. £8. £8.74 £8. from 35 quid. It. Definitely worth that. Um, and some of the, the demons... Online co-op as well. Oh really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, online co-op. I got the special edition. It gave me a bunch of different stuff on it, so I'll probably, probably be playing this for a little while. But nice, yeah. yeah. One of the things I really thought was cool, and it was since it was a kickstarted game, which I didn't know until after this. This I, I came across this room. And there was a giant cat that broke through the wall, and it was like, kind of attacking me, kind of not attacking me. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to kill the cat in case it's important, or I, I, I need to do have an item and give it or something. So I searched that, and it was like. Anyone who kickstarted a certain amount of money to the game could immortalize one of their pets in the game. So there's a bunch of cats and dogs and like other pets in the game that <laughs> no are fucking way. giant. That's and epic. They're, yeah, they're all like boss, like mini bosses that are you know based on the fans. 
That's yeah. giving back in your own way, isn't it? No, the, yeah. give the pets are mini bosses because that's awful. I wouldn't be able to kill my cat. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can kill them, but you can. So if we if we cut up, I can kill it for you. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, be, be interesting I would be, be insta gibbing you if you killed my cat. <laughs> yeah, it's like but, karma. Um, You've got another yeah. one anyway, so you'll be fine. It's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> other than that, I've been playing PvP VE on Hunt Showdown, which is fucking amazing. It's really All good. Right. Yeah, that's your that's your go to. You know, <laughs> you've been playing ah, that for like, donkeys. Aha, uh-huh, it's like the polar opposite of. Say like COD or Apex Legends, where you're running and sliding and stuff like that. It's like oh, you you're said... a lot slower. Every move, everything you do will make a noise one way or another. Yeah, it's like uh, a stealth when, when action you, thing. Huh? What you playing you, with your mate on Red Dead as well? Yeah, I don't know a good bit on Red Dead Redemption. I was doing the solo, the solo, the story, story, story on it for a the bit. Story. Uh, Solo, solo, I couldn't. Solo, solo. I like but, it. Um, I think I got up to was it like chapter three or something like that when they've moved camp for the the second time in the story. So yeah. I'm finally uh, going to actually finish the story on this. I never finished oh, it. Oh, so mate, it's so I'm about I'm about yeah, to go down it. that rabbit hole again because I've downloaded it again. So. Oh, well, need to pass you up and get John Bond pony back yeah. in the game. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. it. I, I checked. I checked my own way, Ned. Because I was alone with him, and then uh, my my horse is still there. My John Bond pony is still oh, shit, there. That's amazing. So I gave it a feed, a feed, and a brush, and I went, I'll see you soon, buddy. You know, so horse is yeah. like I've not seen you in four years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you cut. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. I'm yeah, starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and what have you what have you been playing then, Buster? <laughs> Uh, pretty much the same old BS. You always but... fucking say that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's COD and Warzone. Nothing's really taken my... You've done the challenges. You've done some challenges. Yeah, I've done, I, yeah that's what I'm just about to think of. So. Yeah, yeah. I've got all that and FIFA, and I've done a bit more of my golf as well, the Road to the Masters. But on uh, my challenges in the last... Three weeks, four weeks. I've done Hollow Knight went live just as we've done the last podcast, which is more, uh, is more pookies. They're all kind of pookies games anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't really remember much about Hollow Knight. <laughs> is it a description? Like uh, then I've done Andy's, which was Animal Well, which I actually quite enjoyed. Did that take you back to the old fucking Amstrad? It was. It was old Amstrad, very Atari. Right. That reminded me of the Dizzy the Egg and type shit. Yeah. Ah, like uh, yeah. It was actually really quite good. It really frustrating when you're jumping from thing to thing. I think, I don't know if I've got analog drift or something. But I kept scratch it as well. Thing, yeah, so. Played that. That was actually quite good fun. Mm. Then I done Mikey's suggestion. Oh, overpass. Like which was dog shit. <laughs> Absolute dog shit their yeah, game. What is I'm that? sorry. Oh, it's God. like a off road kind of time trial. Oh, I saw the kind of thing. Is this like uh, Mudrunner? Where it's more about n- no, 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 it's not, really, not even Mudrunner. You got to do time trial on a track, and I think Mudrunner would be more fun, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, I just seen a photo that <laughs> Pookie posted. Um, <laughs> right, uh, I so it was, it was just, it was clunky, it was horrible. It just, if you're going to play like off road time trials kind of stuff, racing, go to Wreckfest, that's so much more fun. Yeah, Wreckfest is so fun. much more fun. I didn't know you had that, Doc. Um, uh, I've 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 played it. I haven't got it at the moment. I had it on my uh, Game Pass, but I haven't got Game Pass at the moment. Ah, oh, snap, snap. Yeah, Where, cool. but I'm I'm very very close to being tempted by Game Pass again because there's a few things on there I'd like to play. So. Mm. I'm yeah. really down for a big group breakfast. That's is it cross platform? Is it? I think so. I think so. I think that could that. be that could be fun then. That could be real fun. I, I enjoy Wreckfest. I played it for a lot of times. <laughs> a lot of times. Yeah. Takes me yeah. back to the destruction derby days, man. 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right, Derby was amazing. Yeah, man. yeah, but there is like a destruction Derby bit in it as well. The mm. one of the oh, courses. It's so too. much fun as well. It's brilliant. You can have straight up racing, or you can have like just fucking. Hurting each other, or you can go on the grass cutters <laughs> teams. Ah, you can go and be one more sofa bed. I mean, we were trying to do the sofa beds when there's like a, a circle. We had uh, random people on it, uh, yeah. And uh, you could get random online folk in as well. It's, it's really good. Fun. And they, they all knew what was happening, they all chose a sofa as well. Like, it was fucking yeah. amazing. <laughs> We had a good like night. It. We had a good night on that. Me, Pookie, and the guys yeah. in FIFA and that, and a few other my mates. Because uh, we played it, we played it solidly for like six months. Eh? It was so much fun. Yeah, because me and Laggy I, were I both buses, too. while everyone else was cars, and we just <laughs> fucking we just parked sideways next to each other on the on the fucking road. So when everyone came back, it was yeah, first yeah. place just smashed into it, and he's like, "Fuck you." <laughs> and then he's like fucking eighth or something because he just gets demolished by everyone yeah. behind him. Help, so much fun. And then the last game of talk challenge was instruction. Epic, Epic game. That it's, looks really good. I've not tried it, but it's been another uh, for me. So, I it's everything I hate in game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turn base card game. If it isn't poker, you, if it isn't poker, you ain't interested. But it oh. says it says use the squirrel, put down the squirrel, and if you put down two squirrels, you can now use this wolf card. And he was like, "Fucking put down a squirrel," and then he put down something else which destroyed the squirrel. And then he was like, "Why can't I play this wolf card?" It's like because you have to sacrifice squirrels and shit to play the cards. On it, just fucking told you what to do, and he's just like, "No, no, I don't know who's thinking." I'm sure Pookie chooses games for me to just so he can get so frustrated at me, so I can sit in the bath and shout at you. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Pookie sitting naked in a bath shouting at me, and uh, yeah, so uh, uh, oh, that one. And then, thing, um, my maybe three challenge. or four times out of ten when Pookie speaks to me. He's in <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a bit of fetish. Yeah. He likes to uh, hang out in the bathroom. No, <laughs> uh, you were playing uh, Diablo 2 with Diablo 2 music on while I was in the bathroom. It was the best oh, thing ever, just listening to your voice. I bet while we're recording... What vibe, man. The, the music for that game is shit hot. Though. I bet while we're recording this, he's in the fucking bath. No, for the A40s, he's not... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, anyway, so yeah, and we also done Rocky City. Oh, that was fun. That was Crime fun. Boss. Crime yeah, Boss. That's actually yeah, a good game. That gets a lot of shit thrown at a bit. Good. It, it's like a poor man's PD, yeah. Let's mm. be real. Right. When we knew what we were doing, it was quite good after you know, I played it solo for a, for a day, and I was like, right, okay, I kind of get how this game works now. I kind of get it because. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the single player might be more fun because you've got to get areas and thingy, and it's like a crime sim management. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. As well yeah. as doing the missions. Well, we were just playing online stuff, and it was just it was. Well, I turned it off. I, turned it off. I, it off. I started screaming at it, so I turned it off. It was giving <laughs> yeah. me a yeah. I don't think it deserves all the hate. You also, oh, Pookie, have you got the streamer mode on? Yeah. No, you didn't. Eh? <laughs> Dude, you told him like 10 times this that one game. I was drunk when I was playing it so I didn't know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah. I didn't, have, didn't have a clue what you're talking about he just said yes because I just I just agreed like with him so he'd stop talking at me that was pretty much yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah that... he just says yes when he's out of beer <laughs> yeah that's pretty, that's pretty much me pro clubs warzone I've been playing hardcore search and destroy though nice yeah. which mm. is good fun which is good fun. I'll get them easy dubs, bro. Uh, it's not as interesting to easy watch dubs, those Yeah, I was, going, I was going all cause death on them and getting them wee love taps with my pistol, you know, and, yeah. uh, and throwing stuns at them. Now, uh, yeah, that's good fun. I think I played a bit of multiplayer this afternoon, core multiplayer, and I don't think I can play core multiplayer. It has to be hardcore because... Cunts are spongy and spinning, and it's getting the movement's getting more and more 
thing, you know. It's going to get worse with Black Ops Six because seemingly the movement's really, really fluid. So I may actually just I may buy Black Ops Six. Uh, I think I might have to invest in an edge controller so I can. Oh. You don't need to buy it. It's it's going to be on Game Pass day one. I'm on PlayStation Dunk. Loser. I've got uh, <laughs> PC Master Race. <laughs> PC Master Race. Fuck you. Players. I'm a Sony pony. Leave me Is, alone. And he got a Mac. <laughs> Will his Mac play it? Like, we no, no, oh, yeah. My <laughs> Mac can <laughs> barely <laughs> run YouTube <laughs> and Discord at the same time. Right, you are. So, Dunk, what have you been playing, lad? What have I been playing? Uh. Well, we all downloaded Lethal Company the other day. Oh, oh, it was awful. It's awful. What it's a it talk about, it was, was some of the best get online gameplay I've had in years. <laughs> it was amazing. So mm. much fun. We're going to be streaming that soon. Yeah, yeah, we definitely need to stream it. It's, I'm glad we didn't cap, get some of that uh, on, on footage, though. So even yeah. when you're just watching someone from a distance and the voice, the proximity chat, like, it's so you and Pook on the top of like a mountain that I'd fell down and survived. I could hear you like mumbling to each other in the distance. Then I could see <laughs> Donk jump off this cliff and hear him screaming. It's all quiet and shit. And you just hear him stop when he dies at the bottom. Like, yeah, well, yeah. That, that was when you jumped, you fell off, and then Donk said, I'm going after him. So he jumped in. And then I stood there watching you, hearing you very far away talking to each other. And then <laughs> I got a thing on my head. That's never happened before, and I screamed, and I jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I landed right. and died, and then the thing landed on Mike and on uh, on fucking Andy, and he was like, what the fuck's on my head? Yeah, yeah, I think I drowned slowly because I couldn't get work out how uh. to get out of the water. But, I mean, that, it just, that game, it's, there are just so many random wow. moments that can happen. Uh, that... What, you, you mean like when we started a mission and you, Mikey and Andy all jumped out the ship and ran in while I was getting a beer and I came back and all of you just stopped talking because you went into quicksand? Yeah, yeah we yeah. all died instantly. <laughs> We're like, right, everyone, let's go and jump out the, the ship. And like for context, you land on a planet, you're on the surface, you have to find the main entrance to facility and go and loot it. We landed on the planet. We're like, right, let's go. Jumped off the ship it, and straight into quicksand and all died instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It's not my finest uh, gaming moment, but it was very, very funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was too fun, but I just, yeah, not that kind of thing. I think it's uh, watching someone run away screaming while you see some horrific monster chasing them is just the funny shit. Yeah, I've got uh, some high-pitched girly scream on me, I think. I mean, uh, Pookie does sound very much like an anime character scream. <laughs> Is that a female <laughs> one? I still yeah, have yeah, nightmares of you him screaming, <laughs> honestly. I wake he up in the middle like of the a... night and hear Pookie screaming. <laughs> he sounds like a Japanese schoolgirl screaming. <laughs> well, that's why <laughs> don't, don't, ask me, don't ask me how I know. No, I'm not, but that sounds oh, very... Dad, uh, dad, that's, what's a doctor disrespect? Behave yourself, eh? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Oh, there's some massive drama about him just now, isn't there? Oh, uh, but... yeah, he, but he's a mighty to message in a minor, so why are we having this conversation? He's a pedo. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Why? No, I'm sorry. The After four years of it getting kept quiet, eh? Right, so why is a guy in his 30s messaging a teenager? Even if she's 17, why is a guy in her 30s Messaging yeah, yeah. on yeah, it's creepy yeah, and it's yeah. it's it's. But it was yeah. like he had his own sort of thing that was reaching out to help influencers, and then it's like, oh well, it could have been that, but he came out and flat out said, "No, the conversations we had were inappropriate." So like, all right, okay, that's every question you could have. No, and leaned lean towards the inappropriate. Yeah. What is leaning towards the inappropriate? Is he inappropriate or it's no? Right, I'm sorry. His whole statement is fucking a crock of shit. Right, that's why you should be watching thing, the gamer talk stream instead. The other thing is, why is Twitch right? So this happened, then it took them two years to ban him. 
because because big companies don't care. Yeah, the great the area law. Money, they, money, they, they, they just want the money, and if there, it's going to be a PR shit fest for them, then they'll cancel it. Yeah, they yeah, the money. It's actually going to because yeah. if it's only going to, they're only going to do anything when it's going to affect their image. That's why YouTube have just demonetized him, but they've right. only just done it because. Yeah. They were riding all this ad revenue up until the point where it's like, oh no, we're going to look like we're naughty. Yeah. So let's but then, yeah. then you've got to they, ask, they, why they did they leaning, weren't they? Doug? They were leaning, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were leaning, they were leaning towards you know. naughty. Well, I'm, <laughs> leaning, I'm leaning towards slapping some cunt, right? But if I say I've slapped them or I've not slapped them, I didn't lean towards slapping someone. You know, the other question is why the two Twitch ex employees now coming out and then one of them's having a tweet is saying, uh, screw him and his boys. So I was speaking to my boy, right? And he's he's right up on everything. And he says that it's all to do with Nick Merrick's as well. They're after Nick Merrick's because Nick Merrick's made that, uh, the whole trans thing. Remember when he got dropped for COD? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're coming after Nick Mayer, it's Tim the Tartman, Dr. Disrespect. They're coming after them all. Because let's not remember, Dr. Disrespect got banned for Twitch, then won a, won a libel case against them. Yeah. Mm. yeah I, I think that's how it got, got quiet for four years. years. Yeah, I can't remember why he got banned. But they're saying it's to do with these whispers and that. That's why he got banned. I suppose that miner just gave up the picks, didn't she? Yeah, mm. fuck you know. <laughs> no, they were, he was trying to meet her at TwitchCon, seemingly. All right. Yeah. Is this the, this is the Gamer Talks drama episode? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get right <laughs> into the news. <laughs> I'll be oh, sorry, team this star. Wait, this month we've got team star. I'll be team star. I'll be team star. I'll be the one that just fucking kicks off at everything. <laughs> well, if, if it if it helps. Oh, talking of that, I am Alex has became the YouTuber's been fucking thingied for being a fucking thingy. domestic violence and being nasty to his girlfriends, eh? Uh, and Keemstar's been slagging him off for like 12 years and everyone, nah, he's fine, he's fine because he was making them money. But Keemstar, he's a dick, but he when he comes <laughs> out with something, he's usually... 80% right <laughs> and he's been calling I am Alex for like the last 10 years and everyone's like no 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 and now he's a smug bastard Keemstar's been a smug bastard and fucking said look I was right about I am Alex yeah, so right. anyway makes you wonder uh, why I haven't support Twitch but anyway well if it, help, if it helps with news like uh, the Bandai Namco showcase is out next month yeah, but I'm not a psychic, so I don't know what's going to happen in it, no, do we? Plenty of shit. Mm. Well, about, they've they've done, done a bunch of cool shit recently, too. Well, they've got Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Sword Art Online, Fractured Daydream, and Gundam Breaker 4 are their three biggest ones that they're going to be Gundam doing. might be interesting. The rest mm. of... <sighs> well, it's July 5th, that is, anyway, 5 to 5 30 to 6 50 pm PDT at Petrie Hall, so. Mm. Mm. Right, I want to see what. Should we inch yeah. forward a little bit? Let's get wow. right into the games. <laughs> it's yeah, not that exciting. This one. Uh, I was going to talk about some of the Capcom stuff. Yeah, Capcom, Capcom has just re just mm. announced a re. It's like a re. It's like a mix between a remaster and a remake for Dead Rising, and people are going yeah. ape shit for it, like the original yes. Dead Rising. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I've been playing. This. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, Pookie, what have you been playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but that's fine. We don't want to yeah. know. Let's get into Pookie's Pornhub history, Ed. <laughs> no, uh, let's get must, into Pookie's game. What have you been playing, Pookie? You know, uh, I've, been been I've been playing that Lust Goddess. That's been... <laughs> oh, basically the same as your Pornhub history, then. <laughs> He's been informed about his progress in this game as well, yeah. without me asking to. Uh, uh, it's, it's, as long as you pictures and whispers, we're all right. <laughs> it's, it's funny, actually, Spook. It looks like it's the only one in your Steam library that's got 100% achievement. <laughs> <laughs> I never hear, can keyboards get sticky? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, pre it's pretty good. Like I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't hear any denials here, by the way. <laughs> 
I'm, I've just finished it and just instantly started playing it again. It's like, so. <laughs> uh, just for just for anyone listening, uh, look up Pookie Vision on Steam, <laughs> and, and you'll see the sort of guy we're dealing with here. Pookie Vision on Twitch. When he's on Twitch, you'll hear what came. No, no, you want to see his Steam profile more than anything else. Yeah, you want to check right. the credentials. And, right, and right. The I'm going. I'm going to have to have a wee look at it because I've no. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I need to. Google this shit. I don't know what it. Right, okay, so you're all like. Okay, okay, tell me. Right, tell okay, me. yeah, okay. The next game, right, okay, so I got it because it was on sale. So I got the uh, Peeping Dawn Manager. Um, Peeping Dawn <laughs> Manager? Yeah, so what do you do in that? I don't you know. Like, what it, know. You like install hidden cameras, eavesdrop, collect information, and seduce your cute but unsuspecting residents and shit like that? Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is this That's just awful. like what goes on inside your head? And on my screen as well, yeah. So they bring it to life for me, which is really good. It just does it for you, yeah. It's like a projector of my, my brain onto the screen. <laughs> so I, I've been playing a bit yeah, of yeah. a peeping door manager. Um, right, what and are the weird things? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, been right, playing okay. that. Still, I'm about 57% and nearly on 100 hours in it, so it's like oh, absolute right. fucking so much to do in it is ridiculous. Like, yeah. I mean, they've opened up something else now where I gotta find a load of treasures and like 20 treasures and put them in a place just to open a chest. But I want well, my dopamine hit, I want to know what's in the chest. Yeah, so it's like those games that goes on for ages. Yeah, so yeah, playing that, it's just standard FIFA and other games. I did play Devour with Dunk for one evening, that was quite interesting. We need to jump back into that at some point. We need to get. And, I'll have to gift it Andy, like, because he he won't buy it. Like, so I'll gift it him, and you'll come play. It doesn't. It doesn't look as fun as like, say, Lethal Company. Is your mm-hmm. Steam yeah. got two two anime girls on it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it looks Pookie like your Steam has got it's like sixteen. That's two. Order four is one either side. <laughs> It's like an anime <laughs> Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> His favourite characters. Okay. And actually, if you if you hover over his uh, uh, over his profile picture, you get another four anime girls. <laughs> on oh, the background, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Right, sorry, back to your games. No, yeah, yeah, before that's, you get that's, too distracted by the uh, physics. That's literally what I've been playing, like, so. Oh, okay. Right. So, yeah, yeah. And you were on, uh... And Vermintide Vermin Vermin 2. Night as well. Vermintide 2 with Andy as well, and I made a new lad, a new friend called PewDie. Hello, PewDie. Yeah, funny. that lad. And he's it's a fucking you. legend. This review of the game is fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> he made a review and then deleted the game. <laughs> so it's like, he doesn't play it anymore. He just literally played with him for like two days. And he's There's this cool guy randomly grouped with us on the matchmaking, right? <laughs> he stuck with us the whole time and then the second time and then left the review. Uh, what did he was say? He not happy? He what was he the saying? Review saying um, well, for context, this game is called Vermintide and you're fighting hundreds and hundreds of giant rat soldiers. And he re- left a review saying, who'd have thought I'd love poking rat ass? <laughs> For the, for, for, the the emperor, emperor. for the emperor, for the emperor, <laughs> that guy's a legend. So we invited him to play like a third time. He's like, nah, I deleted it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. So we'll see what else he's got. Eh? It's not that so, into a poking rat ass, so. Yeah, he was. He's got more hours in it than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cool. but um, this month is yeah, it's kind of it's, it's quite, got it, quiet month, yeah. Yeah, it's quite quite really well. Hard. There's a lot of games out, but when it comes to stuff I'm interested in, it's like mostly what I'm interested in. I think, uh, but uh, there's Let's one see on it. here. Let's there's one on. There's one on here that I thought wasn't out until later in the year, but it's saying that it is apparently according to releases. dot com, and that's uh, Flintlock: The Siege of Dawn. That looks yeah. amazing. That so I've been looking amazing. at this for quite a while. It kept getting pushed back, pushed back, but it says that's for America though. So I need to change it to UK. Uh, right? They're not going to change it internationally. You can't do that with game releases anymore. <laughs> it doesn't right. work. Right. If it gets released in one country, someone will end up pirating it if it doesn't get released in the next. Right, so it's saying it's out on the July 18th, so I wouldn't 100% say that's yeah, true. They, Sunny I side got pushed back for the PS5. Um, there's another one that's getting moved to the end of the year, quarter four. Um, 
And then there's Killing Floor 3 was supposed to be out this month as well, and that's been pushed back to coming soon. So, but this 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 front look at um, Siege of Dawn looks really good. It's uh, join humanity's last stand as gods and guns collide in an all new action RPG open world adventure. The door to the afterlife has been opened, allowing the old gods' army of the undead to escape from within. The living are on the brink of extinction. It's in the it's it's time for the co coalition army to retake their world embrace vengeance gunpowder and magic and embark on an epic journey to lead mankind's final siege against the tide of the dead ah she does look quite good gameplay now it looks good. really good it's a souls like so yeah um, and it's coming coming out on everything as well so. yeah ashen yeah. was a really good souls souls like and um that was based around uh co-op mode me and my, my older brother have been playing through that and it's all Fuck the fun, but it's all really. Souls like, like, do you mean that it's impossible to play? In which case, I won't ever consider it. <laughs> I mean, they all have that difficulty in that combat style to them. So, if... absolutely <laughs> not. Then, <laughs> but um, yeah, I would yeah, can see once it's all wish this but, um, immediately. Yeah, if, 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 if the options that launch, then maybe go for it then. But if not, then that yeah. Would... If it's Those got difficulty in launch, launch, I'll play it. Yeah, so. Uh, but yeah, that looks really cool. Um, yeah, I like watching practice. people play the Souls games, right? but then you're like, oh, yeah, that looks really good fun. And then you jump into it. And you're like, I want to kill myself now. Oh, you are yeah. dead. Yeah. Well, I, I, I said it to Andy the other day, John, uh, uh, don't man, is that like, I've got, mate, I'm playing it. I've got all the armor. I've got everything. I'm fucking hardcore. I'm like, right, look at me. Look at how badass I am. I'm slow. I'm all this sort of thing, but I'm, I've got all this shit to protect me. And then my mate's just got a long sword and he's in his pants just going, John, la, la, John, speed run, speed run, John, la, 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 la. And I'm like, fuck off, like. <laughs> I love those games, man. <laughs> I, I've been struggling with them because... I always loved the uh, From Software games. Yeah, yeah. And the story to them was always really cool, the setting and stuff like that. Remind me of playing like mm. old school, like fucking, um, like. Jesus. Yeah, old school Jesus in Girls and Dogs. <laughs> <and Zelda. laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> <laughs> no guys or nothing like that. And nothing with no hand holding. Uh, like, old school Jesus it. is like oblivion, mate. There's no <laughs> fucking hand holding. Like, classic, classic wow. Is Come Jesus, think it. Did you ever find that Jesus game? It's not out yet, John. I'm following it, though. Don't it's you worry still, about that. It's still waiting to come out. Is yeah, I'm 100% fucking No, it's oh, a Jesus it's like, game. <laughs> it's like last year we did a, a podcast and on it was that Jesus game of you are Jesus and you like no. do miracles and shit and you've got magic. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was, yeah, it was yeah, a weird it, podcast last year. Yeah, yeah. and it looks fucking, or, it looks so fucking, well, I don't know what it was to be honest, but it, to me it looks so awesome. I'm, I'm, and we were so like, good at just all chip in and get Pookie to play it on the game of top stream. <laughs> I'm fucking 100% <laughs> buying that when it comes out. I don't know when the fuck it is. And we'll get him a stream yeah, yeah. And every time that he, uh, and every time that he does a blasphemous word, he has to donate to charity. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just all sit in the Discord and watch Pookie play it, and that could be an episode of Gamer Talk. Right, has to donate every time he says something blasphemous. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It could be ours. The whole economy would crash, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, ever, you ever play the old game on the snares? It was like, it was like a, a Doom clone, but it was Super Noah's Ark. Is it called I Am Jesus Christ? I think it is out, yeah. yeah. It's I not think... out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is it not out yet? Pook. Neck. Is... Huh? I've just got another one for you, right? You it's download the prologue for free. No, yeah, it's still still good to be announced. Sorry, Mikey. No, no, I found a different one for you. It's called The Bible. A digital recreation of the Bible in kinetic novel format. <laughs> you just didn't read a book. <laughs> what a brilliant game. The Bible. It really is just a book. It is just the book verbatim on a... Ah. It's not quite. It's not quite being Jesus Christ casting spells at people, though, is it? No, no. Wait, you play a get a Jesus Christ simulator for that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's so some mixed reviews, though. 
Ah, uh, Nick's confused my ass. It's going to be amazing. Who's <laughs> and the head do something oh, like that? I'm going to review. Shut it down! Shut it down! <laughs> this guy says his malware sweeped his fucking files and detected <laughs> Bible.exe as malware. <laughs> <laughs> Move anyway, so Flintlock, uh, the, the Siege of Dawn. Flintlock, the Siege of Dawn is out on July 18th. We're finished with the religious right. studies section of the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a... yeah. Right, anyway, uh, put, tell me about this game you sent me, Scholars Meet, because it looks really interesting, actually. I'm glad you pointed out. It looks it looks really good because I was hoping Andy would get it because yeah. it looks. What was the quote, sorry? Scholars, mate. Oh, it's me. all, it's, it's the first one you. on the list. It looks it, fucked. It's like and you're in a psychiatric uh, place, Andy. It's, it's like a horror game. I think yeah, I'll be there. It's soon. like an escape room oh. thing. Escape room simulator. Yeah, it's like a escape rooms kind of simulator thing. It's we satanic it, shit and it's a first person horror escape room experience. So. Puts you in the shoes of Judith, a young woman who wakes up in the gloomy facilities of psychiatric hospital. You must escape from this ma- macabre uh, place by solving mysteries while avoiding capture by Eddie, yeah. your sinister hunter. Oh, I, I'm just I'm just looking at a picture of Eddie here, and he he's looking pretty fucking sinister, to be honest. He's a big <laughs> motherfucker. I just see that. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has like a big thing in his. So the developers described the content like this. The game is designed for mature players. The content described as integral to the game's horror atmosphere and narrative depth. Player discretion is strongly advised as some <laughs> themes and scenes may trigger discomfort or distress. Well, it's not like 90% of them. <laughs> yeah, it looks fucked. And for a fucking 12, 11 quid, it's like... It's not going to be much. You can't get a bundle because it, it's the same people did Evil Inside, aren't they? I don't know. Maybe. Evil Inside? Mm, I'm not sure about it. I've never heard of that one. Oh, fuck you then. Well, that's anyway, that's out on. Um... <laughs> yeah, it's out on the 4th. That's 4th of July for that one. 4th of July, yeah. So it's that it American looks... Labor Day or Freedom Day or whatever it is, isn't it? What? Independence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Independence. Independence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a British celebration, in fact. That they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not exactly. British celebration, it's American celebration. But, uh, yeah, but it's about the British not being there anymore, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's America celebrating. British. I'm still the getting drunk, still British celebration. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was the British, the Dutch, the Spanish, um, the Flemish. Um, I think there was a lot of us there, to be fair. So. Against, against America and the French. So yeah, the time the French have won a war. Yeah. I, I, I think we should probably leave the history lessons out of Gamer Talks. We might get ridiculed. <laughs> well, we've done religion. We've done idiot. YouTube. We've done YouTube drama of religion. We might as well be as well. We've done, we've done pedos. Yeah, that Maybe. was a YouTube drama. Maybe Cook and Bossa could do like a history episode for us. Yeah. 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 That would be enlightening. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I, if it's about the Second World War. Yeah, yeah. In the First World War, I could probably talk for hours on it. Well, you just play that. You just play that. Games that have good history stuff. Just just play the rest of that Violent violent Hearts. I know, I know. I need to get back to yeah, boss. To give the people what they want because I really enjoyed that. What the people want, bro? Not the games you play. Viral, viral YouTube sensation. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a there's like a niche market. If that's the way, way we are seen it for like historically <laughs> accurate games, you know. Yeah. So, the... scholar, but scholars, mate, is out on the fourth. Yes, fourth yes. of July. There's another game out on the fourth that I think you're really excited for picking. Yeah, a lot of it, people are. Zenless Zone Zero. It's not just me though. It's like, I know obviously it's a certain um, market and that, but it's actually really fucking massive. Like a is lot. This, of, of, this has got a lot of a lot of people looking forward to this man. Like yeah. it's supposed to be really it? fucking it's, good. It's, Zen, it's, Zenless Zone Zero. Yeah, one of the new Impact, and then there was Honkai Star Rail, and then there was fucking uh, there was it Infinity Zero or some shit. And now there's Zenless Zone Zero. Is this yeah, the kind of listen, 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 listen. If it's Japanese. And kind of anime, Pookie's got a hard one for it. It's that whole Hoyaverse area of gaming. Yeah, those guys are <laughs> fucking reeling the coin in with that. I mean, oh, 
it takes it costs them basically nothing to make a new anime booba lady right and they make fucking hundreds of thousands off it releasing one yeah. <laughs> like they're not going to slow down with these no the thing is on the free to play the so they must have to like some of that to do this some of them well, are the in game purchases and shit yeah, yeah. Yeah. and it's all focused on the waifus it's all about yeah. them anime movies it's, it's, it's by hoyo verse man like you gotta yeah, love them it's in honkai and genshin <laughs> another and one yeah they, a lot of these have the same. They have this kind of anime, free to play, multiplayer thing. That's kind of their area, you know. Mm, well, some anime bullshit that I like comes out uh, as well on the second of July. We've got Dawn Trail for Final Fantasy fourteen release. Oh, That's yeah. the biggest update that the game's had since it got turned into. Yeah, but they're having to bin another part of it to bring that out, though, aren't they? Well, they're redoing all the graphics engine and um, they're, yeah, but it's, a part of the so, game has been a part of it for a long time. They're they they they're binning, they're getting rid of it. It's going like so that they can make room for more shit on the servers of it. I didn't know that, but that yeah. makes sense. Because I think uh, last year or the year before, it was like they were suffering from success. It was the most played MMORPG. Well, no one could get online. Yeah, they couldn't get to the servers. So they had to actually delist the game from all the storefronts because they were like, we can't fit all the players in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it looks so, like they've been doing a bunch of shit and trying to keep it up to current gen. Dawn Trail looks fucking amazing. Well, they're renting servers and shit because they uh, everybody's coming online like uh, like they're at a funeral or something like that yeah. to bid farewell to this thing that's been a part <laughs> of the game for such a long time. So it's great though because like the last time before it was a Realm Reborn, you played the original one, mate, and it was like before mm, they was... changed that game instead of just deleting the game and making everyone re-download it. They made it an event where, like, this giant sort of like red sphere appeared in the sky for everyone who was still playing the game. Um, yeah, they shot off day. The, the sphere cracked, and Bahamut came out and destroyed yeah. the game. Well, all, all of us, doing it. well, all of us that were top tier, um, uh, top tier level, and playing the game from its beginnings and that beginnings and that, like, they offered us all to do the beta. They offered all of us, like, first-hand connection with Poland to give feedback and all that sort of thing. Like, so I thoroughly enjoyed doing that, like, to to kind of made the game better in my own in my own way. Like, I like mm. to think I had a little bit of a voice towards it. So, and then, like yeah, you said, when we all came back, even. when we all came back on and it, they did this intro, it was just like, come city, man. Like, it was like, so, literally just like a, a river of cum just came out of my screen and just drowned <laughs> me in my room. Like, that sounds it. awful. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was somebody else's cum. I think we're going to have to go a very mature episode on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a, a um, what do you call it? The fucking the little slide. black and white sticker on the front of this CD. Yeah. 18 plus or something. <laughs> 18 but, plus um, gamer talks. Yes. On the same day, we've got a game that I've been looking forward to for a while now, and he's maybe seen an advert for it. It's got a really fucking epic trailer. It's all CG, cool characters doing epic shit. Um, the first descendant comes out the same day as Dawn Trail. Oh, yeah. And it is, I think, free to play. Um, third person looter shooter co op game. It looks a little bit like Warframe, but without all the diving and ducking and flying. Um, first Descendant. The First Descendant. So I will be jumping into that. I'll probably be streaming that, maybe on the Gamer Talks channel. But that's PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series ABCD EFG. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the rest of the fucking alpha a bit, but anyway. Hey, can we just wow, do a wee touch here? Cool. A wee tangent, yeah, because then yeah. zone zero, yeah. we were... Andy, I've got a question for you. Did you ever play the Alone in the Dark, either the remaster or the original? I played the original. I've never played the... the... It's not a remaster, it's like a new game. Right, I just wondered, because the... did you see the studio that made it be shut down? Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, they got left right and center, man. Apparently the game didn't meet expectations. <laughs> yeah, that's the usual story, right? But the last, the, the only uh, Alone in the Dark game I've played start to finish was one on the Xbox 360. Um, oh. And it was infamously bad, but it had some really cool tech in it that it yeah. was really ahead of its time, like Fire Physics. I don't physics remember it, but I'm sure I've played it. Yeah, it I think it was just the self-titled Alone in the Dark 2008. 
Um, yeah. And it had some really cool mechanics in it where you, you could, like, for your inventory, you push the inventory button and your character just looked down and opened his jacket and all you had <laughs> on you was what you seen in the pockets. It was really cool. Yeah. Wasn't the cover, like, just, like, a door open with, like, a light coming through and a bloke stood there or something like that, like? I think... I can't remember. I think it was a close-up of a guy's face. Or something like that. What?! I can remember I bought that thinking it was I was getting ready for it. Yeah, it is. I'm looking at it. It's the same guy with the leather jacket. And his jacket would be all shredded up and he'd be covered in fucking gouges and like <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, filthy yeah, bastard. Yeah. I'd love to put stuff in that game, but um the game itself is fucking tripe. <laughs> right. like, I just wonder because the the whole thing about, you know, expectations in games and not mean expectations is like I get it, if you're a publisher, you want a game to make money, you want to make money, you know? But if you're a developer, and you're asked to agree to, you know, so many sales, or hit a certain score, yeah. or yeah. make so much profit, is that not a bit yeah. much to agree to, well, you know? How no, it's not about managing expectations, and that no, goes for fans as well as the devs. Um, that's the job. Even the devs, executives, right? Like, they put so much fucking money into stuff that doesn't make sense, oh, and yeah. that's why shit just doesn't work for them, and they'll start closing down something else because they've lost like they'll close down b because they've lost money in a so I yeah think. um and things like alone in the dark was a single player horror game and yeah. there's been a few games out in the past two years that have shown that there is a fucking huge market of people who thoroughly enjoy <laughs> yeah yeah as before and the, well, remake and all the that. people who made the people who made that Gollum game last year are still still going, and they're thinking about making another Lord of the Rings game. Yeah. I mean, they <laughs> really are great. Like, like, <laughs> no, 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 they, no, if that's true, no. then it's because they manage how they do shit. Like they didn't fire a fuck ton of money into Gollum, and it was shit. <laughs> yeah. so that's why yeah. we, we that's expected to sell. Right. We expected to sell three. <laughs> See that's where you've got to, <laughs> you've got to put that meme of the the eight going oh no yeah oh, <laughs> oh, no <laughs> they should be banned for doing anything with Lord of the Rings ever again <laughs> yeah nah <laughs> and Pookie needs to deliver them an envelope of shit. Yeah, at least like the before and after it was like while it was getting made it looked better yeah. And then when they released it, it was like, how did you just make things so much worse? Like, just visually, you know, like even the UI and stuff like that. Uh, Is that yeah, Return yeah, of Audio yeah, one out yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's meant uh, to be, like, mid. It's meant to be a 5 out of 10. I think I just touched on that. <laughs> don't, make, did, don't, did, don't make a noise. <laughs> So, um, yeah, like so only, um, more of like a slide whistle noise, you know. So, only Zenda Zone Zero <laughs> is out on the four, who gives a fuck. Hey, <laughs> right, um, it is, it is. Next, it's it's what's human on PC? It's right. exclusive to Epic mm. because uh, they like to use their own launcher, they don't like Steam's launcher or whatever. So, yes, yeah, because we're, sure. we're because we're Epic, baby. Well, yeah. apparently, when they put out um, Honkai Star, they had some. <laughs> Agreement with Epic to make the game exclusively on there because they wanted to use their launcher and not Steam launcher. I was that, 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 that's, that's, like, that's like Valorant. Valorant. Yeah, yeah, it was the same with Power World as well. But obviously, the people who yeah, did Power right. World, if you bought it on Steam, you couldn't play with the people that played it on Power World. The actual company, if you bought it with well, the company, you couldn't play with people on Steam. Yeah, yeah so maybe you got the Game Pass version and downloaded yeah. it, and you that's had it, yeah, version, you can't pass we... it. You can't play it with them. Yeah, that's it. It was, it was Game Pass. Yeah, and I was just like, and I was like, Andy was like, oh, it's free on Game Pass, Pook. I'm not buying it because it's shit, but I'll play it on that, and then we couldn't play together because it won't let you. It's like you fucking bastards. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's still early access, pal. World, but oh, yeah, early access for fucking yonks. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Seven Days to Die finally went into its 1.0 after. Look at it, fucking hell. How long has that like? been? About a decade. Yeah. I think, fucking hell. I think. Um, yeah, they're finally. It's they're, it's made by a group of guys called the Fun Pimp Fun Pimps. <laughs> <laughs> All the well, best hoes. Good luck to them, I guess, for releasing the game into the, the yeah. world. And it still says it's early access. <laughs> early access, you one, must be doing uh, 10 one years. Day right. Update is now July the 25th. And oh, uh, so the like original months. release date was December 13th, 2013. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's, that's been like eight and a half years, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh well, there are plenty of time to work on, I guess. So. Yeah. I've got the same sort of thing. I've got that. Um, do you remember that BMG dot drive? Oh yeah, yeah that was it. Still will access though. Experiment One of the, the car best thing. driving simulators there is, it is and the, the physics engine in it is insane. It's great, yeah. good fun, yeah. It just doesn't make much content for it, eh? Oh, that's, there's a huge single player for it now, or, or I think yeah. it's still in kind of early access, but you can access a single player game. Yeah, it's, uh, like, a, it's like an alpha slash beta stage thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I just it's remember got being so much for. content. It's got so much content now because of modders. There's oh. like there's so many like rally stages and various other like crazy shit you can do in it. It's really good fun. Have it's you really seen cool. what the Have you seen what the cunts have done with um, Witcher Three and Cyberpunk since they they CD Red released it for to the modders? They have built like whole new fucking islands and areas and quests and quest lines. <laughs> of Witcher Three is fucking mental. So it's I'll be getting surprise. Witcher Three. I'll be getting Witcher 3 on the PC and starting it all over again, man. Yeah. Oh, if only, if only that it was a way of making it a uh, co-op, that would be insane. Oh, uh, well, you, you could be my dandelion, Duncan. Just <laughs> I could just be strumming away while you're slaughtering stuff. Oh, mate, yeah. that's, that's, all I want out, that's all I want out of anyone in life, is just to strum away next to me, man, while I fucking take care of business. <laughs> that's a good dinner road again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah man so what's so, next? next one we've got is trail is the legends of no, well, heroes trails into reverie yeah the legend of heroes this is or a reverie it's like reverie. a chain it's like a, a franchise isn't it and this is the overwhelmingly game. positive reviews john that's good anyway uh, so this, this one's like a jrpg game isn't it but it's more 3d <laughs> That <laughs> top down 2D ones, really. <laughs> it's got suggestive themes in it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I watched the video. Um, It's quite a step back from the sort of Octobal Traveller chain echoes it's thing. Step away, I know. Well, um, these have got. It's a lot of games from these, though. Yeah. A yeah. lot of them. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a it's, lot, yeah. It's, I looked them up it, and there's a big list of what they've made, you know. So it's basically following like three characters because there's like three legends. Yeah. Um, so this it's the next one in the series basically for him, like because there's been so many of these games, it's ridiculous. But um, but this one, it's another anime type thing, isn't it? It's not like you know true action or anything. Yeah, well, it's a climactic chapter of uh, of of the Legends of Heroes series, anyway. So you're following in the footsteps of the war of the hero, the war hero Reen Schwarzer, the liberated Le- Lloyd Bannings, and the Mask Enigma C, and switch between each of their paths freely with uh, while you're playing the game. Um, so the trio are going to experience three different story arcs. It switch between them, like I said, with the Trials of Walk system, plus we'll discover side side episodes and fully flesh out the characters and the world of Zemuria. Uh, Reverie uh, into reality, enter the true Reverie corridor, which allow you to encounter and recruit new characters from across Zemuria, enter randomly generated dungeons to test your metal and play a variety of mini games. Paragons of combat, utilize arts, brave orders, and cunning tactics to prevail in battle, master the United Front system, and harness the power of your entire team to decimate enemies while empowering yourself. So, yeah. it does look really good. good. It well, sounds it's, good. It, it looks good. Um, well, developed by Neon Fal- Falcon, PH3G MBH, and uh, Nis America Inc- Incorporated have published it, though, so... It's the same people who've been been making the others, but it just looks really good to me. Like I just like I like JRPGs, like so. And this series yeah. has had some games that are a little bit, mm, uh, but some of them have been really like nailed for the stories and that. Like, and this one looks like it's going to be pretty good, yeah. like so. Well, I like JRPG too. This one looks a bit different to the ones I normally play. Uh, obviously, yeah. like I say, Chain Decodes, uh, Octopath Traveler, things like that, but. Um... Because it's not top down, it's it's like a 3D eye level type thing, um, yeah. and then you, well, you control them. 
Well, I just like it the fact that it's three intertwined stories, and you literally can bounce back in and out when you when you want, and just do what with a certain character, a certain amount, and then others and that. Like at some points, you have to stop and do the other one and that sort of thing. But it kind of intertwines the story together from three different points, and depending on how you play it, each time you could play it slightly differently. So I just think it's quite a good idea and a good yeah, it's good, it's good concept. Just gives you more yeah. content. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So, but that's out on the seventh of July. It is, it is. Um, I'm not sure if it's PC only. I think it is. No, nah, it'd be out on PS5 as well. Oh, no, PS5. Okay, well, there you yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's already out on PC. I think it's coming to consoles. That's what the oh, release date is for, like, I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, well, there's a 100% chance of John buying that one. John's definitely going to buy it, yeah. 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Right up his uh, more, more chance of me getting a hair transplant. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the hair off my ass. It's currently not got any, so that'd be quite good, actually. Anyway, what, man, there's man. more chance of Pookie coming up to Scotland and licking sweat out of my ass crack. <laughs> yeah, if, I do, if I do, I pop two of them spin on that thing. But if I do that, though, will you buy it and play it? <laughs> <laughs> John, stop giving him ideas. Honestly, you ain't enough. Really, you've not got a good enough tongue for that. Bad enough. If I, to if I. If I hock to and nosedive that ass crack, will you buy and play this game? No. <laughs> uh, anyway, right, can we move on from yeah, ass yeah, cracks please. and stuff? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to think about that. Let's just leave it. Uh, right, this next one, now books Dungeon Master. Um, it's a console release. It's already on PC. Um, anyway, the reason I want to mention it is because I played the demo for it. It's like a dungeon builder, dungeon manager thing. <coughs> there is also a game before it that's called Amulet of Chaos, and that one is um, it's almost like a JRPG, like Pook was talking about, you know, a team based, uh, and then it's like you go around, it's like turn based action and so on. Anyway, that one was based on a book, this one isn't based on the book, so this is like a foray into, into the unknown. Um, but apparently, mm. it's quite good, so. Right. Well, you, you I'm sorry, the... I'm sorry, yeah. sorry. I might as well just go play the computer and come back and see Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> because um, this, is, this is going to be one of the worst lineup of games to have me talking about. Well, that's not like you are for anything, is it? It's, 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 it's... I've got one coming the 11th of July called Anger Foot. Oh yeah, she does. yeah, yeah. And it's it says it's a lightning fast action FPS oh. where the only things harder than your ass kicking feet are the ass kicking beats. I watched Jack Frags play a uh, Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that I've seen it's Jack Frags play it as well. It, it looks excellent and the soundtrack absolutely slams. Yeah, it's the like soundtrack is what attracted me, man. It's like this hardcore techno, and it, as you get harder and faster through the <laughs> level, it speeds up and it gets louder and heavier. It's like, oh, mate, I'm just watching it, I was getting buzzed. <laughs> this is what he talked about the other month, wasn't it, hasn't he? I think so, yeah. It's out yeah. the 11th. 11th of July. And right. they showed Devolver G Digital, which is yeah, it's pretty much like a stamp of quality nowadays. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Always do interesting stuff. It, uh, yeah, it, it looks excellent. I think it's just uh, PC. I think so. Well, planned release the 11th. Yeah, as far as we know. Yeah. It'll probably get ported, though. I mean, I assume they must be having a, a soundtrack demo for it because uh, obviously it thumps. Yeah, I remember seeing Jack Flags play it a few weeks ago, was it? it yeah, yeah. It? Aye. Uh, and it does. It looks so much fun. And now, now see, can we not have a list like this? Now, and that I can get on board with, yeah. <laughs> you and I can, the next one I've got um, is really strange, but it uh, looks interesting. It's called Once Human. Um, can you... Um, I'll read the description. Once Human is a multiplayer open world survival game set in a strange poker apocalypse. Poker, poker, poker. Poker, 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 poker. Unite with your friends to fight monstrous enemies, uncover secret plots, compete for resources, and build your own territory. Once you were merely human, now you have the power to remake the world. This looks cool because the fucking <clears throat> MMO and co op. 
Uh, yeah, but it's like uh, like you build your base and like survival stuff, and you got to go and get your resources and shit. But that it's got really weird shit in it. Like one of it was like a giant sort of like billboard screen. Star and as studio. the guys going past it, this fucking monster just crawls out the the screen like the little girl out the ring style. But it's like this yeah. weird fucking siren head type looking thing. There's um, a boat with a tree walk with four legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There was stuff like that. There was like I was watching a, like a gameplay video of it, and there was like this bus with like four manky, big, gruesome legs coming out of it, and it was hobbling along the ground. And then it stops and squats, so players can get into it. And it's actually a bus that takes you around the map. Um, the apocalypse. Like that, it's just really odd looking. The apocalypse yeah. changed everything: human, animal, plant. All are infested yeah. by an alien creature, the Stardust. As a meta-human, you can survive the contamination and use the power of Stardust. Play alone or join others to fight, build, and explore. When the world is in chaos, you are our last hope. Hell yeah. Looks a lot of fun. They yeah, have, Pookie, like, you I, need I, to get a career in voiceovers for games. For sure. He, I was drunk for like a few weeks ago and we were playing Vermin Titan and he was redoing all the fucking uh, <laughs> the voice. I don't know if I was just shit-faced, but it was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, once you on in, Bookie's level. Anyway, mm. The 9th of July for once you win. Uh, that's another one that I thought would So one I'm excited about is uh, <laughs> uh, the the successor to Accessor uh, really, the successor, successor to Accessor! Woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 Bring it up! Great success! Great success! Uh, so the successor <laughs> To a set of Corsa, uh, which, as discussed earlier, is ten years old this year, is uh, is coming out this year, and they finally released a. Uh, uh, they finally created a Steam page for it, which. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, I was just having a quick look through it. It's fairly minimal detail. We've you know a few a few of the cars and a few of the tracks that'll be on there, but it sort supports VR and triple screens from from uh, from the. From the beginning, which is refreshing. Um, so is this like a close to a sim sim kind of game? Like a... yeah, this is. I mean, it's just a set of course is pretty regarded as sim. Mm. I think for the most part. Um, and yeah, this is just the ten year newer successor. But I mean, look at the system specs. It doesn't require an absolute beast of a machine. Which maybe they uh, maybe they're going to release something that's optimized. Which Sounds batshit crazy to me these days, but like my computer will run it, which oh, yeah. is absurd. I think I mean, the reason <laughs> optimized to fuck, right? Because you're moving that fast through whatever map it is. Yeah, but I mean, it's kind of linear, you know, for most yeah. of the tracks. But like a set of course, are some of the some of the mod tracks are enormous. Like there's huge, huge open worlds that you can just download and drive around and stuff. So. That's cool so, as fuck. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and from what I understand, as uh, Kunos, who makes set of course, uh, they're they're planning to stay on the side of the modders. So yeah. I think they're want. trying to say that they'll make all the mods that uh, in current a set of course are compatible with the new one, which Ooh. could bite them in the ass. But I don't know. I hope they do it because that would be epic. Well, I think that's them. why their current one has aged so well because that supports there and readily readily available for fucking uh, one. Hold on, do, do we need to pause while someone's beating the living crap out of their heads? Yeah, someone break that. That that's <laughs> me. I knocked my mic over. I, I'm <laughs> plugging my my iMac in. And I, Honestly, yeah, I, my I, I think over. we might need to take an editing break here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> well, thank you, anyway. Honestly, can't <laughs> trust any of you, I tell you. Uh, can I just, uh, for any PlayStation listeners, uh, the PlayStation Plus monthly games are announced and they're going to be Borderlands 3. Amazing. Uh, NHL 24 and Among Us. Also amazing, and then also fucking absolute dog shit. Me and Andy are going to play some Among Us, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's right get some Among Us. Chili sauce in the eyes. Ah, well, I'll play NHL 24, though. We can beat each other up. 
By the way, that's great fucking fun, those games. <laughs> yeah. And they used to be, I remember them on the Mega Drive, mm. and they used to get, like, you used to just get the wee fights going all the time. We used to just spend minutes in the game fighting. Yeah. That was the last time I really got into one of those games, I think, was on my GameCube, because you could do the four controllers without having to buy a multi-tap, so one of them passed it, just yeah. right into it, and it was like, that I couch really fucking game was those great those. for it. But I'll be all yeah. over that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they'll have five flyers in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's NHL. It's not. It's mm. not the UK. So it'll be no, no. all you're saying, right, Mikey? Mikey, bring some sensibility back to us. Where are we on this list? Well, I can't bring sense back because you four are all here. Ooh, <laughs> check it. Check it out. Hey, someone's been a bit well, bitchy. Well, let's go through what we've done today. So we've done religious studies. We've done paedophilia and sexual education. Mm-mm. Which guy is Did you get off with sex? Did you Wait, get off with sexual <laughs> education? I had been taking notes. We've done, uh, we've done TV shows. We've done a psychiatry lesson in a hospital. I've um, never had any psychiatry help in a hospital. Psych- ever. But I have, <laughs> to, I, have took, I have took the drugs. Well, that explains a lot, help. Johnny. I have mean, <laughs> took drugs to see if it would help. <laughs> I, had, I did have I did have some psyche, uh, some help in the hospital. They I was so pissed you had to show me how to sit down. For <laughs> sure, because I, I couldn't sit on a on the bench properly. <laughs> I've been there, right? Like that how did you sit? You can't even like see properly or anything. Everything's just blurred. No, no. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, this has turned game... into a car crash. Eh? <laughs> this oh, yeah, <laughs> Anyway, yes, another game. The most well, calm-handed episode we've done so far. I think. Well, well that's, we, that's we, we, we're on we're on Neil Buke's Dungeon Master, which is coming to console. Yeah, yeah. Great. So Mikey's going to love that because that's like you got it's a, dungeon. It, it's it's a dungeon builder. So it kind of like if you remember the old the not Diablo games, but the uh, the Dungeon Master games. Dungeon yeah. Keeper wasn't it? Dungeon Keeper. If you remember the old Dungeon Keeper yeah. games, it kind of looks like that. And if you were thinking about um, the builder for Fallout, the Fallout builder, whatever that's called, the shelter or whatever it's called, it's like that. But the way that's kind of like looking like you know, um, like you underground, like you you know, building underground downwards and sideways and that, like, this is actually, like, kind of, like, bird's eye view and this sort of thing, like, but it does actually look really good, to be honest, if, you, that, if you're that type of build into building games and stuff like that, like, and it's got a bit of comedy aspect to it as well, like, so... Yeah, well, it's a good. builder and it's also got a bit of combat, like, to our defence, like, you have to defend yeah, your dungeon. you have to defend the dungeon and as well. you get to do raids and things as well, so... Yeah. Yeah. I was going to talk about this one a little bit, because the the dungeon of Nehu, Nehubuk, that's what you say. I don't know. It's like, like a, it's like a franchise. Nahil Buke. Nahil Buke. Nahil Buke. Do you run the dungeon with IKEA stuff? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, the original book was written by a Frenchman. So, uh, uh, they, they give out that like this is one. This isn't the first game in that series. Like, this is no. just a different kind of it. The other one was uh, the Amulet of Chaos, which was like a turn-based. Yeah. Can you talk about? <laughs> Did you want a bit like Divinity? And yeah, just for yeah. it looks kind <laughs> of the mill, but what I will say is it's very funny. Um, it's not what? as kind of cookie cutter as it looks when the characters start talking. The voice it's, it's, it's actually quite well thought out, to be fair, because you just you, you've got to hire people to build your dungeon, run your dungeon, and then obviously it's a bit like you know similar to other building games when you've got like a um, you got. Um, people who defend it, people to go raid and then mm-hmm. and all this sort of thing. And you are serving an evil entity. So the only way I could describe it is you've ever seen a show called Trap Door. There's, yeah. um, Amazing. there's there's a guy in it called <laughs> Burke! So the guy the guy who shouts Burke! He's he's basically fucking working for him, but you never see him and it's like that. So you're working for uh Zangdar and this guy is like pure evil, like God or whatever. And then you're literally building his dungeon and trying to take over the world for him in his name and all that sort of thing. So, and if you don't do your job, then you get fired like Lethal Company, I guess. Like, I don't know. Um, but you have to upgrade your places and then go out with resources. And then, like, he's, like Mikey said, go out and raid places, defend your own place. And basically, you up your reputation until you become like an ultimate dungeon in the world. And, you know, all that sort of thing. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with online at all. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's still, it's just a single player game. But yeah, I mean, if you're into that type of building game, then it could be quite interesting for you. But that's out on the, yeah. um, 
on consoles this is it's already out on pc Seven, this is yeah. console also on the 7th of console the 7th yeah yeah uh, yeah no it looks like a lot of fun actually <laughs> yeah it's like it. <laughs> well, it's, it's strategy but then it's kind of got you know as you see comedy in combat and whatever so yeah they're definitely funny they're definitely, oh. definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> um before we go on ikunitsu i was wanting to talk about which might which might be the only switch Hey, we've got this month. Talk about it. Anyway. No, there's one in Indy. Is there what one? What? Uh, the last one, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Well, there was another one I was going to talk about called the new Denpa Men. Oh, yeah. The um, what? What? Denpa Men. Spelled D E N P A. Denpa Men. And it's like. <laughs> I don't know. How it's a month for Japanese, ain't it? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, it's because the, the West are too busy firing and shutting Asian down places people. rather than making games. <laughs> like, um, like this mishmash between like a little cozy build your own town sim between mini games and like turn based GRPG combat and having hundreds of little Tamagotchi style then it, it looks like Teletubbies. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I can remember playing a little bit of one of the old ones on. Is it my DS? And it's just as weird as it looks. It's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I, I, depending on the price, I will probably pick up the new Den Panning because it's one of those super duper strange ones that you won't really get yeah, um, yeah. anything other than this. Uh, I agree. Pardon me. But that was me for. I don't think I've got anything else to talk about. Uh, no, well, I, Switch. So just since you mentioned the Switch, you've also got the Stanley Parable coming to Switch as well, which, you know, people like that game. So Yeah, have any of you ever played that? I've not, no. <laughs> There's like, it's a first person walkabout kind of game with like weird, odd kind of. What's that? The Stanley, Stanley Parable. Parable. Uh, um, I thought you said Mr. Driller was out this. Mr. Driller <laughs> Drill Line was out this. Yeah. Week. Now, if there was ever a game for you in a rate book, it would be one like the Stanley Parable. Because um, right. no matter what you're doing in this game, there's a narrator talking about what you're doing. That must be really fucking weird and nerve-seeing at the same time. This looks amazing. Yeah, it's good fun. Right, on to the 19th of July. <laughs> yeah. You've right, got Kimitsu Gami, Path of the Goddess. Yeah, Fook sent me this one, and Kunitsu. it looks really good, actually. I'm really impressed. I didn't know it looks it weird and mental. Don't anything with the word goddess in the title. <laughs> and Japanese. <laughs> well, there is that. But it does. It's, it's <laughs> quite colourful, and it's like he's he's running about with like a pink. It's a woman. Thing. She well, ran she up is. to the screen and went, "Help me!" And I was sold. That was it. I'm like, I'm getting it. And she's flashing <laughs> things with like pink streamers. <laughs> what? It's a bit fantasy over the top. I'm looking at a gameplay trailer at the moment, and she was. Brushing things with a pink streamer. It's Capcom, right. baby! And she now is... she's got a sword and she's stabbing folk. Well, Can I talk about the Capcom sword. stuff yet? The what? This is Capcom. Capcom stuff. Yeah, yeah. this is Capcom. Capcom have got their own summer sale on, on Steam. Yeah, and they've got their own thing going on just now. I think they're about to I do their own that's... show. Something can... that hasn't been mentioned yet is that Steam are doing their summer sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good show. You can yeah. play badminton uh, on this game, John. We actually mentioned Pal World earlier. That's in the summer sale. That's uh, got to Come play it with me, Dan. Let's play Pal World. <laughs> well, July the 11th, it's on. From today, the 28th. It's probably on before today, maybe. I don't know. It's July on now right. till July the 11th. Yeah. I like the art they do on the Steam Splash page for that. Yeah, it was actually aimed at Pookie. Nah, no boobas. It didn't splash the right yeah, things. Boba. Yeah, if there was like some mad like hentai mermaids on the right hand side. Yeah, <laughs> what? Just... You've got Pookie sold already. <laughs> just making out like. Yeah. Pook got like his own uh, fucking uh, genre. Yeah. But this could it this could into yeah, Pook's looks genre good, is man. the adults only section on Steam. And yeah. Japanese Steam. <laughs> yeah. It's a Kagura action strategy game. This one, boy. Ooh, it looks really good. 
This the one we were talking about before Nixon. your tangent. All right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you were trying to bet a new game. Oh, it's a new, no, it's no. a new tail, man. Like you know what I mean? It's a, yeah. it's a mountain, it's a cut mountain on a mountain covered by defilement. Do you know what I mean? During the day, purify the villages and prepare yourself for a sundown. So basically, night, you're getting purified, Pookie. During the day, you have to do. During the day, you have to do shit, and then in the, in the night, you have to fight like an absolute heathen, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, a total so... defense game. No, no. So you set up. You've got like a certain amount of land, and you need to set yeah. up your defenses and turrets. No, no. You're going through villages and and saving them and and setting them free and stuff like that. Like, but like during the day, it's like a way of like setting them free and doing stuff, and then at night, you're kicking the fuck out of everything because that's when all the evil <laughs> comes. Down, shit. Yeah, you, you have to you have to do like a Kagura type dancing in it. You have to wear like specific masks in order to do something. That, and it's also yeah, got very, it's not your um, usual terror defense. It's a lot more in depth, right? I'm just very very unique type uh, music in it as well. Like I think the music in it attracted me as well. It looked pretty good. Like so, it's a really beautiful game. Yeah. So it's so, so much like cloth. Like when you look at it, there's cloth physics on like every character. It, on well, what I liked about it is that the fighting was kind of like a dance in itself. So like the combat is like a uh, like dancing in itself. It's just it just seemed quite quite uh, the whole thing looked quite beautiful to me. So it just looks uh, looks very pretty. And um, yeah, I think it could it's be really, uh, one dance. one of Capcom's best because the the last Capcom that I saw was Street Fighter Six. I thought it was dog shit. Yeah, but I'm not. It's a bit too mo fucking... bit too modern for me. Like I'm a bit too. Review it for us. So, they are no. on fire right now, the boys at Capcom. Yeah, they are firing on all just cylinders. Like... The rele the releasing that soon, they just randomly dropped the original Resident Evil trilogy all oh, the up and ready to work on it's your so good. Oh, yeah. for today. Um so that's Resident Evil one, two and three. Like the old school, old school ones as they were meant to be played. Nemi, uh, baby! Nemi! And then, and then they were like, uh, "We're giving you Namco, Namco versus Capcom, the collection, um, which was That's the fighting games that everybody fucking loved." That. Right? Like, if you if you, you're mm. talking back, like they go right back to the old Street Fighter two days. Um, yeah, all the Namco characters fighting Capcom characters, right? <laughs> Wolverine versus Mega Man and shit like that. Right? Um, the more recent ones that I fucking thought it was crazy because you had like. Uh, Spider-Man teaming up in the cutscenes with Chris Redfield from Resident Evil to take down Nemesis, <laughs> right? Cool as fuck. Um, you get the entire collection of them, <laughs> Namco versus Capcom. It's just a multiverse crossover of the, the two IPs. Uh, the full collection of all of the games um, to yeah. buy. So folk are losing their shit for that. How much is that? Um, I don't actually know. Is there anything on Dragon Dogma 2? Because didn't Capcom do that? Has that got any money off it? Uh, what on the Steam sale? Mm. Let's have a look. Let's, 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 let's of course, I want to play that game, but I don't want to pay yeah, full money. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I just spotted Shop. actually. Is anyone, any, any of you guys seen uh, Broforce? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah! Me and Andy played that. I'm it's yeah, fucking yeah, amazing. Yeah. It's good fun. It's I played it once. Broforce! Yeah, Broforce! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't yeah, this song you amazing? Know, every character I'm right? on uh, Steam right now, so I'm I'm naturally tempted to grab older that. How much is that? Do it, do it, do it. Oh, that, look, that looks awesome. You get it, all the fucking characters. It's like Indiana Bronze. It's so like, simple, but so amazing. Uh, it's like, is it, is it Rubro Cop? That's like, like old school Rubro. Mega Drive, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It looks dying. great, fun. Two pound fifty five. Don't combine that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, that's why I mentioned it. It's cheap. I'm buying it. I'm buying it right now. We can play that. Yeah, should we jump on that afterwards? Yeah, right, yeah. let's wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Right, well, can we move on to an indie spotlight? Because right, it's, well, well, it's been like one the whole fucking night. For <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> nah, no, your fault. Not your fault. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's all right. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not going to so, get a hard on until the next Grand Theft Auto comes out. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, GTA 6. Yeah. Or I don't know. Box 6. I don't know. The Last of Us 2 might release a new game where she's got a new haircut or something. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be 70 quid. Shy. Okay. <laughs> Told you. Put the two of them together and I'll buy it for 70 they, quid. They have yeah, put them together. Buy it. Absolutely. When they're scissoring together, you mean, John? Well, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie would love that shit, man. 
I, I really want to play through oh, them again, but I'm no buying the first one again for the third time. <laughs> and I'm not buying the Last of Us Part Two for just a slight upgrade. Well, no, I played through yeah, that no. once when it oh, first yeah. came out, and you gave me a shot at it, and I thought it was fucking amazing, and it went on for ages, and then uh, I haven't played it again since. So I, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the remastered version. Really Is like, that oh, when yeah. I lent you? Yeah, the, it was Part Two. It was either your job. Part Two, I gave, no, I gave it to you, Andy. I really liked it because it was like a full length game and then the story tied up and then stopped and then everything went pear shaped and started fucking part two. It just kept going and going. <laughs> a lot of people moaned at how long that game was. I, thought it was I like, loved it. Yeah, anyway, I thought that, it was like part that, two and part three, really. Anyway, that Kanitsu Gami Path of the Goddess is out on the 19th of the 7th. Right. <laughs> End this sport like Mikey. What are you want to see? Um, Bro Force has just finished. <laughs> right. Right. Shush. Shush. <laughs> let, and uh, let. Make you get what he was going to say about then. This sharp book, are you going to be sacked? Um, all right, yeah, anyway. Oh, um, what, I was gonna, first. what I was going to say was, <laughs> I'm sure a bunch of you have watched, you've seen videos on YouTube. I've played a bunch of demos from the Steam Next Fest. 40 the demos, yeah. I'm going yes. to do a separate podcast to go over them, so I don't want to spoil it too much. But a couple of them are releasing this month, and we're going to go through some of them. Uh, the first one's Cataclysm, and I played them for this. I've played it a few times. This one is a sort of tower defense RTA strategy thing. Oh, they did Moonlighter. Hmm? No way. That's cool. It's a good game. Yeah, anyway, this one, Cataclysm, it's done by Digital Sun. It's out on the 16th. It's a tower like defense game, but it's also a point and click game. Um, so it starts off as a point and click, and you're a uh, reverend or something lost in a forest, and then you gradually have to find people, and then another one, and then you get to a town, and you have to build it up brick by brick and defend it, and so on. So it's quite an interesting concept, but yeah, I kind of lost interest in it. Um, I liked what, when the, I first in played the demo. It, I gradually lost interest. So <clears throat> I should. I'm just watching the trailer for it at the moment. It looks yeah. looks very pretty. It's it's very well done. It's um, not quite hand drawn, but it looks like it. It's not like sharp detailed. It looks like it's a bit more. It looks like Minecraft. A little bit, yeah. Which is no bad thing because we know how that went. Well, um, Moonlight, to Moonlight, the kind of like uh, the 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 uh, the maps and stuff for that looked like um, the the trial. Uh, was it Path of Isaac? What's it called? What's that game called? Finding Isaac. Look like Isaac anyway, like yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. So this is actually quite different from from that game. So it is. Um, I don't know what it's not three. Is it three D? I don't know, but it's just sort of. It's it's sort of like a two and a half D, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so that's out on sixteenth. If you want to check that out, there is a demo. I played it. It's still up now. Um. It'll probably be up through release, so you can you know try it out as well. So it's building castles brick by brick and defending humanity against swarms of horrors, design fortresses, optimise production in the citadel, train and deploy a wide range of troops and make impactful tactic cho- tactical choices. Yeah, mm. basically. So it's like, a, it's like an RTS game, but it's more detailed. When you I like that. It, look hey. at it. Uh, but the, the pump- prologue, like I said, is a point and click bit. You have to get to where you're going and find people and so on. Um, so it's like a, kind of a mashup of different gameplay styles. Oh, published by Hooded Horses. I like that name. Or Hooded yeah, Horse. they're the ones that did the Manor Lords, aren't they? Manor Lords. Manor Lords was what? That was the most wish list game record in Steam history. It yeah. was like 750,000 people, I think. Yeah. And as soon, and as, soon as. Is that actually released yet? Yeah, it released a couple no, of months it's ago. It's early access. And, uh, early and access was it. Yeah. Steam not totally released, but. It looks it's, fucking awesome as well. Like, it looks so good. We talked about I, it a couple I, of months I, ago I've on the podcast. It. You probably weren't there. It's some Game Pass, but um, I've not played it yet either. So. It's still early access, but Steam have got a, a discount on it as well for the. Uh, for <laughs> oh, the really? Sale. You probably were now. <laughs> yeah, I probably wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Doug's never here. Um, <gasps> oh, <sorry>. Speaking <laughs> of which, I've raised the honorary guest. <laughs> Honorary. 
I yeah, thought he's... No, I'm not. I'm not on the payroll anyway. I thought he was on oh, payroll. Fucking payroll. <laughs> John, see, don't talk about the payroll. John's still getting payroll paid in hot, hot, hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> he's still getting paid in biscuits. Oh, <laughs> mate, I'd settle on biscuits. And so would I. <laughs> I, 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 I can't say biscuits all the way back to Al County. You just, can bring back just... some fucking cheap alcohol, though. Uh, no, I'm going to drink it all myself. <laughs> guys. I tell you what, if you, if you move somewhere closer to our head office, I'll buy you a drink. There's a head office. I mean, <laughs> should, I, should I not be the international office? No, no. <laughs> well, I think, well, I think the head it's office should be over at your stunt, and we yeah, all yeah. come to you. Yeah, I'd say the head office. Idea. Would be my house because I'm the only silly con that's recorded half the episodes in the past year and a half. <laughs> that's very true. Oh, <laughs> very true. I love yeah. being at head office because all you get is all the huck to all you want at head office. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of <laughs> I feel like I've missed the world's biggest meme. I haven't. Even, like, <laughs> idea what this is. Have you not? That'll send you. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, if we sorry. went to Doug's place in Spain, the the fucking. What is it? The shop that you live above would probably kick us all out for like rattling the floor. Or yeah, yeah, you live above a shop, you bum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I live above a bar and restaurant with two swimming pools, you dick on. I was, so close. Can't, we can't have headquarters at your place, you peasants. I know, he's got a pool. <laughs> he's got two pools. He's got two. Enter up on me, you fucking uh, spicery. I seen this thing. There was a, a guy who was getting a lot of flack thrown at him because he was a game dev studio, and oh. it was mandatory sauna sessions for anyone who wanted to. Do it. Oh. On the LinkedIn ad, fucking hell! Yeah. John, Stardew Valley, he did it by himself, yo. He's like, yeah. we're we're doing a game about saunas, so if you want to work on it, you got to. You got to well, sit in a sauna, baby. Doug <laughs> yeah. just walks outside. He's in his sauna, man. Yeah, yeah anyway, um, really right a now. game. Another game that Pook sent to me. Nobody wants well, to die. And, Andy, it's in the podcast WhatsApp. But um, Cataclysmo is out on the 16th, by the way, of, the of July. To see July yeah. But this next one Mikey's introducing, this is looking to be game of the year by a lot of people, So uh, along with Stellar Blade and that. like. So this yeah, is apparently... Really mm, style, this is supposed to be like some kind of fucking... What do you call it? Uh... What's that one with Harrison Ford in the future and shit? Blade Runner. It's supposed to be like... Blade kind of, Runner. Yeah. Kind of vibe. We it beyond looks, human. We... Looks we so Eleanor. Eleanor. Blade Runner. It looks Bioshock vibe. Fucking amazing. Bioshock. Critical yeah. hit games are really uh, good as well. It looks, it looks really pretty. Well, critical think, hit done. I'll definitely be playing this one. 20, it looks so 23, good. 29, New York. Experience a noir adventure in an alternative yeah. future of New York City. 2329 technology has advanced to offer humans eternal life, <sighs> allowing consciousness to be stored in memory banks or transformed to one body, one body to another. That's crazy. There's so many cool like story ideas that could be with like folk going insane after being alive. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, but it's yeah, a detective was, game was, as well. As you said that, I was literally just thinking, oh, immortality sounds fucking awful. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Vampires always think we have it together in the stories, but if it was me, I would be 100% fucking insane after 200 years. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking lonely, mate. But nothing changes. I'd be gibbering and slavering all over the shop if you give me. Away. Yeah, you like you like hot tour means nothing to me, nothing. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So it looks it could be a a game of the year or indie game of the year. It you looks know, fucking um, amazing. It looks so good. Like is it Unreal Engine Five, Andy? As well. Uh, I don't know, bro. Um, I think it is. Um, James Cara, what a name, man! Like it risks crazy, it all. Because... It's it's cool when you see even smaller dev studios who push a game out with like something like Unreal Engine, because it's usually how close to being AAA with that sort of shit they are now. So like a small team can make something as cool as this. Well, I'm I'm struggling to find decent detective games as well that I that I think I'd enjoy and like. You should go back to actually LA hunting down. Epic. I got told you have to try and literally get into the mind of the serial killer to try and. Yeah. To well, try and have there. 
Oh, right. I'd like to see you play a yeah, condemned pick. Um, <laughs> if not, the, the Sinking City would be cool. Oh, yeah, Sinking cool. City I've played. I got bored. Wow. Yeah, um, condemned, condemned. Is that the one with the eye on on the cover? Yeah, and chains around it. The face. Yeah, yeah. That's when you end up in like a doll factory and shit. I played that one. Yeah, it, me, it, it changed me. If I'm honest, I, <laughs> I reinstalled that like a few weeks ago. Man, it's it's the design in that game. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the dark, fuck out. There's a second one as well, isn't there? Yeah, it was even better. But I, can't, I, don't, I don't. I only know. played the first one. I never played the second one. Both very but, yeah, I played it on PC, man. I really enjoyed that. Like it's the same guy in both the stories, so it's like that guy goes through some shit before that story ends. It's when you could get PC games on on disc, John. Do you remember that? Uh, in cardboard I've boxes. Some of mine. I've yeah. still got Half Life and Half Life Two on disc. They they'll be worth money when they release the next one, which it will happen. Now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Half Life Three. Yeah, you ever, ever fucking yeah. awful, Pookie. Uh, then we're gonna make a Half Life. I know that because it's coming home. Yeah, but then the yeah. randomly, the There's randomly more fucking, chance of fucking coming home than Half-Life Three coming. <laughs> That's the show. You thought that, and then uh, they randomly dropped fucking Half-Life Alex, though. Didn't didn't mere, mere, Alex. mere chance of Scotland qualifying out the group stages of a major tournament than fucking oh, Half-Life Three well, coming. Well, I, I didn't it's think John would make me. Now. I didn't think John would make me feel depressed today, but he's managed to make it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, right. Simon. Don't, there's hope for Half-Life Three, right? Yes, I mean, I was thinking, yes. <laughs> I would say yeah. while well, Valve, Valve is still, still in business, free. yes. 30, 30 years isn't too long. I take it, I take it you're still hopeful we'll save JFK, eh? <laughs> yeah, and 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 um Tupac's still alive. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he is still alive. Yeah. Have yeah, he's living it up with Elvis and uh I'm a, I'm gonna be right back here. And so's Madeline McCann. <laughs> oh oh no, god. Yeah. Fucking hell. Hey, anyway, hey, yeah, so nobody wants to die. That's done by Critical Hit Games, and it's out on the 17th. Yeah, it looks quite good. It yeah. looks really good, that game. Like, uh, I'd highly recommend buying that one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah. right, this next one is a 100% purchase for me. It's called Shim, S-C-H-I-I-M. It's done by Edward and Nils, two pals from the Netherlands, I think. Edward van der Werf and Nils Schilkerman. Yeah, I'm sure it's in the Netherlands or something like that. Belgium, I can't remember. 18th of July for this one. This one is... Uh, how would you You're a froggy! It's incredibly cool and unique. You're a froggy! Yes! You're like a... No, you're a shadow creature. A yeah, shadow you're like froggy. Jump, it's a frog. Like a jump, jump, light and you have to jump in the shadows. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, looks, it looks fun. It's I don't like think... A, it's almost like a stealth game, not being seen, but it's not <laughs> stealth. No. What's the premise? Uh, there's like <laughs> levels to play through and so on. I don't know if it keeps going. It's basically it's a platformer that um, it's you play a shadow creature and you got to, to like jump between things. Well, it's, not the, it's, it's not the premise, John. It's just what what you're looking at. I mean. Yeah, what's, yeah, the, well, what's the story behind it? What's the premise? Why are you a shadow creature jumping between shadows? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. The, the, uh, the right, I, I can read it out for you. So, Shim, I'm going to guess that's the name. It's the is a, is a game about jumping from shadow to shadow in a relaxing and lively environment. This 3D platformer takes elements of light, shadow, and animation and adds them directly to the gameplay, delivering an experience that you will only find in Shim. So, I mean, yeah, he wasn't far off with you jump from shadow to shadow. I think it's kind of a, a chill game. Yeah, and, and it's it's re re hand-drawn, kind of animated there, and it does, it looks really nice. Yeah, hand-drawn, and all the levels are, like, monochromatic as well. Ooh, check you know, like, that must have been a fucking nightmare to program this, though, right? Oh, I, yeah. I bet it took me ages. But, you know, it looks great, so... Congratulations. Oh, I'll right. definitely uh, be getting on release, so. So I've seen it here, like, so everybody has a shadow, everything has a shadow, everything has a shadow. If, yeah. it, if, it, if it stands, it's, it's got a shadow, so you were attached to a human, you're a human shadow, yeah. and you're human, you got disconnected from your human shadow, from your human, and you're trying to find your way back to your human. It's the coolest looking like, indie game I've seen in a long, the most original thing I've seen in fucking ages. Yeah, yeah they're playing it, they're the playing... They're playing it right now, actually. They're playing it. Um, 
Yeah, they're playing it right now. Steam, like Steam Live, yeah. Uh, yeah Nils think... and uh, Edward and Nils are playing it right right now. Uh, obviously, this is, when this releases, it won't be. But... A couple of absolute Gs. I hope they make a fortune off this. Uh, I, I do wonder if some of the hype comes from the freshness of it as well. A lot of it comes from Twitter because he makes short little gifs about how this game looks. It it's well, so, like, that nice well. to look at. It just yeah. gets that extra attention. Pookie found a good one. Pookie found a you good one. You did, Pookie. Well done. Yeah, but, I, I would I would play the crap out of this for the smoke. Right, so this next one is called Him and Her Bitches. Of course. So. Are you calling us bitches and the game's Him and Her, or is the game called Him and Her Bitches? <laughs> No, it's, uh, the next one is called Dungeons of Hinterberg. Yes, it is, and this is one I'll probably be getting as well. This is like uh, it's like an action-adventure RPG game. Um, basically, it's a slight fantasy, cartoony-looking thing it's set in a fictional Austrian alpine town. Um, and there's <laughs> lots of, you know, exploding mountainsides and going through caves and things. Um it's just a general idea. I love these things. A hoverboard. I was very good. Yeah, no, this it's very, it's very, it's very really cool. colourful. It is. Yeah. It yeah. is. So shaded. It look, I mean, this is Austria, is it? Because last time I was in Austria, it looked different. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for it being Austria, there's a lot of different colours apart from white. There's hardly any white. Uh, this yeah. is where Arnold Schwarzenegger is from. Where's this snow? <laughs> so, uh, there's no really snow in hills. They've got a snowboard that needs no fucking snow. I do it <laughs> maybe, out. maybe it's post uh, post global warming. The, the global uh, warming. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could, well. So, armed with a sword and a tourist guide, explore the beautiful alpine village of Hinterberg and uncover the magic hidden within its dungeons. Master magic, solve puzzles, slay monsters. All this and more await you in Hinterberg. It's it's Hinterberg, not the Hinterberg. The, huh? last, the last time I went uh, I said Hinterberg. during tourism with a That's sword, I, I got in trouble. <laughs> In Hinderberg, isn't that the blimp? Yeah, I, just, I, I was know. clarifying I that you see Hinderberg. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, obviously it's not based in real Austria. Hence the... Um, <laughs> the Travel Austria the in Hinderberg and destroy! Destroy! Destroy nine! <laughs> yeah. okay. nine! It's an alpine ski resort, so, you know. And a uh, ski resort has some snow, I know that. With no fucking snow! Like a Studio, Gu- a Studio Ghibli movie. No. Anyway, it's from uh, Microbird Games, and it comes out on the 18th of July. Yeah. yeah right, well, let's move on, because this next one, I thought Andy may be interested in, but I'm not sure he is. It's called Conscript. <laughs> yes. I was uh, very surprised you played this, because it's a survival horror. It is, it is. Um, it's not like... It's a funny Horror one. being not... World War One rather than demons or monsters. But yeah, like, like I was going to say, it's not like dark, scary horror. It's yeah, horror well, it because uses... it's true and there's blood. Yeah, it uses and, that yeah. setting and it's fucking. It's pretty horrific. Um, yeah. Same with the the gameplay mechanics match that of a survival horror game, but it's set yeah, in the of a World Jesus. War One. Like you spend a lot of it walking around trenches and you know opening gates and things. Huge people... props to the guys making this game because it's a. Uh, it's kind of an original take on survival horror and um, altogether the it perspective, is, yeah. the mechanics. Oh and, god, it um, looks it insane. looks horrific. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not seeing World War zombies. It's just World War. It's what like, does it? It reminds me of original cam, uh, Commandos. Do you remember Commandos? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, solid. Yeah. Those ones. I don't think yeah. it's quite as campy and as fun as those ones. Though. What funny is that? <laughs> well, well, this is a lot more dark by the looks of it. Like. Yeah, yeah, dark. Like, no shit, sure, sure. because World War One was full of kittens and cats. <laughs> <laughs> kittens what? and cats what? were there. Really? <laughs> what, they fought, they fought on both sides? Yeah. No, I just don't think they gave a fuck. No, the cats. <laughs> cats, cats everywhere, right? Cats like some guy climbed a fucking uh, mountain. I seen on uh, this real on fucking Instagram. There was a kitten. I can't remember the name of this mountain range, but it was really fucking high up. There's a cat just hanging out, and he gets fed from all the tourists that lives up there. <laughs> cats and kittens are Brilliant. everywhere. Bro. Brilliant. 
So during the First World War, a lone French soldier, French soldier, Jesus, I've had too much Guinness. <laughs> a lone French soldier must navigate twisted trenches, scavenge for limited supplies, and solve complex puzzles, all whilst fighting for survival in the midst of mankind's most brutal and horrifying conflict. Conscript is a new take on classic survival. Uh, hold on, holy oh. shit! It's Team Seventeen, the people that made it fucking is. worms. And he probably yeah. should have it. It is. It's made by Catchwood Studio, and it's our Team Seventeen game. Developed by Jordan Mochi and Catchweight Studios. Yeah, yeah. it's out on the twenty third of July for you all to play. I played the demo. I think it's still up as well. I will is talk it about it during my uh, indie episode as well. That's why I was like, fair play, you might forget, make you for giving this one a bash, because like, this one looks pretty hardcore. For, I've not tried it, but it's one that's like I've been quite intrigued by for a long time. So I want to see Mikey play Madison on VR. <laughs> <laughs> Madison? No fucking chance. Madison's the one where it's pitch black all the time, unless you take a, a photo with a Polaroid camera. Do you know what, though? We're looking at the... Uh, <laughs> this is you think I was no uh, oh, I'm really wanting or waiting for it to drop in price, and I'm going to give it a go, but I don't know if I can fucking take it. I'd love to see you get through Resi 4, pick. I mean, heart attacks jump a generation. Me and my brother are due them in our 40s and 50s, so we're like, fucking... Do you know what I mean? We need to avoid these type games. That's my excuse. <laughs> Right, uh, so you're just one. rage at FIFA instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> donkey! Uh, <laughs> battle, battle, <laughs> Battlefield 2042. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't get angry at that game. Yeah, He's the only one that screams, who the fuck <laughs> shot me in a server with 128 players? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do, I'm I need someone you. keeps shooting me. Someone keeps shooting me. It's the enemy, Pook. There's 120 <laughs> fucking eight people. I'm watching uh, them, and it's like, I keep running off and dying and spawning back on Pook, running off and dying and spawning back on Pook, while he's prone, crawling across the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely stunned that there's not a single person seen to be doing this shit yet. Uh, Crawling along the flat ground. Love it. Kill Death Ray shows. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, so Corp script out on the 23rd. Watch out for Andy streaming that one. That could be and Mikey. I'll be providing commentary while Mikey plays the game. Will you really? I'm just going to do it the other way around. <laughs> you can supply the commentary while Mikey keeps it up. Now, do you know what we'll do? Andy can play it and I'll just read a book. What, read the Bible? That's on Steam, man. Like. That'll be my commentary, the Bible. <laughs> I'll get the audiobook DLC, I'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, that Jesus Christ game so bad. Yeah, but Pook's going to play it, because he loves that weird shit. Hey, we've got one more. Yeah, we do. It's called Bull, Path of the Tail Lotus. This looks so fucking gorgeous, man. Yeah, it was, he told me about it as well. Um... <laughs> This is a side-scrolling RPG Metroidvania type thing. It's very, um, yeah, animated and colourful. Yeah. What is the what's the word to describe that um, that sort of genre of art style? Is that like um, like feudal Japan or feudal? Well, it's, like, I mean, it could be hand drawn, but I, I don't know. It's a it's a Kitsumi mask, so it's like um, from. Uh, it's the fox mask, basically. So it's usually like worn at festivals and stuff like that, like um, in, like celebrations and all that sort of thing, like uh, like interacting with different cultures and shit like that. Like, yeah. um, but a lot of people can wear different masks it when it comes to their celebrations and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people wear the Kitsumi masks because, like, in you have the fox in um, Ghost of Tsushima as well. Yeah. So it's a very spiritual uh, animal to um, to the Japanese. It's like a it, it's like a connection to your soul, a connection to the afterlife, and that sort of thing. Because that's the full direction of it, isn't it? I mean, you've got the, the yeah. there's a puzzle here of wheels made by bamboo shoots, uh, bamboo yeah. sticks, and there's the the swans folded um, or swans origami with the floral mm, like, yeah, I've got a massive love for ja- all things Japanese. I don't know if you guys have noticed that thing. No, I've never noticed that. Like, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> did any of you ever play Gomon? Yeah. Gomon 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like uh, Gomon 2, where it was. Do you know what I mean, yeah. Pick? I Do you know what this yes, reminds I know me exactly of? What you mean, the, yeah. movement, the movement 
looks really like uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe a bit of a bit more faster paced, but yeah, the the movement and like the sort of skills you could gain and stuff. It looks really cool though. I like it. I imagine it. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah, like but... a cool game, but I really it's like not got enough in it to interest me. So. Well, it's just the the Japanese culture and the Japanese background because like straight into like the nine tail fox, everything like that. It's just literally just as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, okay, that's something I'd be interested in because I do love the Japanese history and everything that yeah, to do. It's, with, it's quite with nice that. when they do games like that, you know, to represent real things. Well, it's hand drawn as well, so it's not yeah. like it's you know it's like been literally hand drawn from. 2D sort of, it's like a picture book in time, you know? But it's flowed gracefully through colourful, hand-drawn 2.5D action platformer inspired by Japanese folklore. Engage in aerobatic, it's aerial combat, unlock powerful mystical abilities, and explore an interconnected world world of myth as you seek to unravel the mysteries of your origin. Definitely. So, I mean, are you going to be getting it, Pook? Hundred percent, I'll be buying buying that. Yeah, I might, yeah. I might watch you play it. It looks interesting. I just don't know. If yeah, I'm I'll be streaming it, right it when I get it. Yeah, it's yeah. just, I'm just a bit tight for money this year with where I'm at in life. But that's why I say I'll play a lot of these games, and then I haven't played them. But it's because I'm just in a tight spot. But it's um, you it, when you're ready for them, Kirk. That's the good yeah. thing about games. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Uh, right, I'm just. Should we wrap it up there? We're hitting two hours, guys. Um, mm. I don't know how eager you all are to get away from each other. So. We were all kind of like, what are we going to talk about for? No, no. I want to play Broforce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did what, that. Were you? Uh, that, I'm not saying I want to actually have give up. If we didn't have the Bible or the psychiatric gospel, we have struggled a bit, you know. We were okay. Well, if you believe in the Bible, you do need psychiatric, psychiatric help. Well, there is that. I bet that's a disrespect to have in his Bible right now. A few billion, a few billion listeners. Ah, fuck it. Religion's a <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah. Right, anyway, uh, for those of you that have been listening all the way through, thank you. It's lovely. Yeah, too. man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope it was yeah, more fun for you for listening listen. than me participating. Yeah, you get extra um, points for making it to the end of this episode. That's for fucking sure. Well, yeah, we, we've got we've got Game of Talks. This is obviously on Spotify, but we've also got Game of Talks live streams. We've also got High Arcade as well as Pookie Vision streaming on the Twitch, as well as Dunkster P Dunkster will be streaming P. on yeah, the YouTube. YouTube. And any YouTube questions, YouTube. suggestions for us to play Game of Talks? Questions at gmail dot yeah, com. I put. 20 demos up last week. That's all my... Um, yeah, and uh, John, John, almost, John almost got fired by trying to upload his one thing <laughs> of the week. Like, uh, yeah. uh, but one thing that I do for the YouTube every week, can I upload it on Friday? I've got demos going up. <laughs> so, I got, uh, but, I got yeah. an... Um, what was that? I got a copyright strike on Twitch for playing fucking Farm Simulator 22 or something. Like, what the fuck is that about? But yeah... Uh, yeah. So we, we well, got check, was, Oh, I think it's for copyright music. I'm like, what well, fucking copyright music? It's always the music every time. It's always the music. But it has uh, to just... be something, Mikey. Yeah, I know, but you log just... on, it doesn't fucking tell you. Just remember, though, like John said, we've got Game of Talks uh, questions. So you, you've got Game of Talks questions you can email in, like, and uh, you can put in your suggestions for John to play any of the games that we have suggested today. <laughs> Or anything that's like that. in the PlayStation car. <laughs> anything that's similar to that. Cause you want to see him play because he you sounds know, like he wants to play. You know what we should do? We should have like a vote. Like, um, someone to buy a specific game, and if we get enough emails in, then they have to buy it. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I think you should You should be. You're the boss, right? So. But I suggested it. You should be on the, the Gamer Talks payroll along with yeah. everyone's, you know, PS Plus <laughs> subscriptions and Gamer yeah, Plus. Mine, mine's is up next week, Mikey. Is this tax deductible? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can well, get paid for, for it being tax deductible. You can claim well, You back. guys are on commission, Mikey says. Apparently, you can claim back the tax, but anyway, I don't know. I'll have to investigate. So I need I need ninety quid to get the PlayStation mid range fucking game catalog. Give me ninety quid, Mikey. I need nine hundred quid so I can get a four eighty. <laughs> I need two hundred and fifty get a PS VR two. Oh, I'll, I'll actually screw that. I'll pay the ninety if you get me a PS VR two, Mikey. No fucking way. 
Mikey, I'll just be I'll just be happy with a chicken. I'll just be happy with a chicken sandwich, mate. <laughs> I can give him a chicken sandwich, but I'm not getting you a VR. <laughs> Hey, hey, we've got that in recording now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, 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 that's... We uh, all want chicken content. sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches for the next podcast. <laughs> What's wrong with the biscuits? We're up we the fucking biscuits. <laughs> We're up the Oh, you're too fucking far away. <laughs> How did I get biscuits to you? Anyway, thanks for listening and uh, take <laughs> care. Keep, keep, keep the toxicity down and uh, take care of each other. Yeah, yeah. Right, see you later, guys. You. See you later. Again. Cheers. See ya. Cheers, guys. See you again. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da